some football here in Lawrence, Kansas. It is homecoming today, and the Jayhawks are ranked for the first time in a long time, and also 2 8 no for the first time in darn near a century. 99 years to be exact, and if the Jayhawks are going to run that record to 9 and 0, they will rely heavily on that defense as they have done all season long. Now, a lot of people thought their body stats were a result of that soft non-conference schedule, but the Jayhawks have not missed a beat four games into the Big 12 slate. Just take a look at those numbers. Sixth in the nation in rush defense, fifth against the pass, fifth in total D, and second in scoring defense, giving up just over 10 points per game. Kansas has pitched four shutouts in the first half this season, and two of those have come in the last two weeks against AM and Colorado. They'll go for three in a row today. A picture perfect day for football here in Lawrence. We've got the kickoff when we come back. Struggling with credit card debt? Is it difficult just making your minimum payments? Tired of the harassing calls? Is substantial credit card debt preventing you from enjoying life? Call now and settle your accounts for less than you owe. Call the Hermosa Group today and move toward a brighter future. The call is free and there's no obligation. Start saving money now. Let the Hermosa Group put you back on track. With one simple call, the Hermosa Group can show you how to eliminate your debt in a fraction of the time and for less than you owe. It's simple, secure, and proven. Stop the harassing calls. Legally reduce your debt. Lower your monthly payments. Get back on track and worry less. Life can be better. Find out today how quickly and easily you can eliminate your debt. Call the Hermosa Group now. Get a low monthly payment that fits your budget. Call now. Remember last week when you hit Vinny in the head with the shovel? I do not recall that. It was too graphic for the kids, <laughs> so I'm going to have to block you. You know, i got to make this That's up. That's really not necessary. This is Vinny's watch. Welcome back to Lawrence, Kansas. Memorial Stadium on the campus of the University of Kansas at Cavisto Field. Bill Land, Dave Lapham, Emily Jones with you. And a sold-out full house, 50,000-plus here today for the eighth-ranked Kansas Jayhawks to face the Nebraska Cornhuskers in Big 12 football action. And this should be a fun one here. As the roles have been reversed, if you take a look at tradition, it was Nebraska that has dominated this series. Last year, they won in a double overtime. KU won the previous year here the tide had started to turn then as it turns out and it's Kansas that comes in unbeaten and Bill Callahan playing for his coaching life at 26 and 21 in his fourth year as the head coach in Nebraska after a year ago going nine and five Big 12 North champs and losing in the Big 12 championship game it has been a somewhat disastrous turnaround Mark Mangino the opposite last year they went six and six three and five in the north they lost four games that basically if you turn around one play they could have had 10 wins this year it's all going right for the Hawks and they are unbeaten well Bill they learned to finish you know and, and you finish football games last year you are 10 and 2 and potentially going to a big bowl this year 8 no and, and you know not only have they won uh, eight games they've won 11 of their last 12 I and mean, they're, they're a good football team and, and they're playing very sound fundamentally sound football and, and people really respect them kicking off Adi Kunalik gave six foot 175 pounder out of Fort Worth Texas Herford and McAnderson are deep and this one will be downed and KU will get it first and 10 on the 20 yard line so the Jayhawks they come in averaging 42 and a half points a game and the Jayhawks with Herford downing that kick will send out their sophomore quarterback Todd Reesing to lead the way and this kid has really been phenomenal as 
Reesing has thrown for 17 touchdowns and just four interceptions. Liberty Mutual with our starting lineups here, and we'll have a chance to follow up on this offensive line that has been sound, led by Anthony Collins and the dual running back combination of Sharp and McAnderson that almost have identical numbers, although very different styles. First and 10 from the 20, and McAnderson pushes forward for a couple against the University of Nebraska defense. The Huskers, their woes have really been on the defensive side of things as they're allowing 31 points a game, and their run defense is last in the nation, allowing 242 yards a contest. Zach Potter, one of those up front. Their linebacking core has been decimated by injuries. Octavian, McEwen, and Wortman get the start today, and you take a look at the rest of the starting 11. Second and nine for Kansas here on their opening possession. McAnderson. Not going down easy, but stopped at the 24-yard line. Yeah, when you look at this uh, Nebraska defensive football team, they've been really racked by injuries at the linebacker position. Bo Rood, Blake Lawrence, the number one and number two strong side linebackers, neither one traveled today to Lawrence, Kansas. So it really, really puts a, a real damper on things as you're trying to figure out a way to stop the running game. Henry and Fields wide to the right on a throwing situation, third and six. Reese rolling out and incomplete. Just off the fingertips of Derek Fine, the senior from Salisaw, Oklahoma. Marillo was covering for Nebraska in the secondary. That Husker defense survives the first test. Well, what, what they wanted to do, Bill, was quiet the Kansas crowd. And the best way to quiet them is to make the uh, Kansas offense, the explosive Jayhawk offense, go one, two, three, and out. Courtney Grixby is the deep man as the punter Kyle Tucker is on for Kansas. He's averaging 38 plus a kick. Last week in the win at AM, he averaged over 43. Got it. This one, they put the heat on and deflected. Nebraska staying away out near the 45 yard line, and it is Nebraska with great field position. Amukamara yep. got the block. Prince Amukamara got a hand on it, and Nebraska. Their special teams has been a positive for them. Well, and, and, and they knew that they had to compete with Kansas, who they've returned two kickoffs for touchdowns, two punts for touchdowns, only team in college football to do that. And Nebraska gets a short field. So Nebraska comes out one, two, three, and out. They shut the Jayhawk offense down. And then in the kicking game, deflect the punt and get a short field. And that's a nice uh, way to start if you're getting your first start at quarterback like Joe Gans is. Gans came on after Keller got hurt last week against Texas. Has time and completes it across the middle. And then the Kansas defense is all over swarming Sean Hill. James Holt leading the way. Liberty Mutual provides our starting lineups here for both sides. And we'll take a look at Nebraska and Joe Gans, the junior from Palos Heights, Illinois. He threw for a touchdown in his brief time in the Texas game. You see Lucky, who was a great dual performer. They've also got three receivers with 25 plus catches in Swift, Purify, and none. Gans on the season now is 11 for 18, and in those 11 completions, he's thrown four touchdown passes. That's in including this first play today. Second and six after that four yard pass. Lucky is smothered near the 41 yard line. Jake Laptad, this is a Texas, a Kansas defense that is truly too deep. They play a lot of folks and they are all very solid. Their defense, again, Liberty Mutual providing the lineups, led up front by James McClinton, an All American candidate. You're looking at Akeem Talib, who anchors their secondary, is also an outstanding receiver when needed. And they've got a couple of monsters at linebacker in Holt and Joe Mortensen. It is third down and five on Nebraska's first possession, trying to take advantage of a short field after the block pump. The pitch out, Halu. Hey has the first down. He gets across the 36 to the 35 and 34 yard line and Mike Rivera making the stop for Kansas. Well, there was a missed tackle by uh, Thornton. Justin Thornton was there to make the play and he missed the tackle, overran the play and in uh, the first down is, is, is registered after that miss. 
So the option was defended well, but in space, running back makes defender miss, move the chains for the Cornhuskers. France Hardy comes wide left. Halu is the lone back behind the quarterback Gans to throw it on first down. And he does complete it. And Nebraska fumbles the football, but he was down near the 20 yard line. The receiver, Franz Hardy, a senior out of Miami, Rivera with the hit. And speaking of turnovers, that's maybe the biggest difference between these two teams, Dave, is Kansas is minus nine and Nebraska's plus 11. And another missed tackle, Kendrick Harper in space here, misses a tackle. I mean, he's there to make the play and just misses, overshoots. Nice little move, a tight spin move right there by Hardy. But man, you got to make that tackle in space. That's two missed tackles out in space for Jayhawk defenders, which is rare. First to 10 here for the Huskers. And the handoff, nothing doing this time. No gain that time for Halu, whether for Lucky as Borson, Russell Borson. Borson makes the stop here. Well, and when you look at Kansas defensively, it is rare for them to miss tackles. They they line up right, they hit the right gaps, they support properly, they don't make mistakes, and they're sure tacklers. And Mark Mangino's not happy with on consecutive plays having defenders in one-on-one -on -one situations whiffing on tackles. Opening possession for the Huskers, 10:38 to go, first quarter. They stopped KU, got a hand on a punt, and operating with a short field, a second and ten right now. Play action and Gans in trouble and intended for Hill. Well covered there though as Holt again putting the pressure on. James Holt, 6'3", 220, a junior linebacker out of Altus, Oklahoma, who's been in double figure tackles the last two games. Let's see what Bill Callahan comes up with the call on third and 10 day. Little naked bootleg here, Bill. Not fooled at all. And, and, and nice defensive play right there by Resby at safety, making a play on the tight end, not allowing him an opportunity, Sean Hill, to make a play on the football. Big, big down right here for both football teams. Third and 10. Lucky right next to Gans. Out of the gun this time. Gans's first start this season. And it is complete inside the five yard line. And Nebraska knocking on the door with Purify on the reception. Mortensen makes the tackle. Maurice Purify getting his 34th reception of the season. On this particular play, Jake Lapdad got a hit right up the middle. They ran a twist, end tackle twist. Lapdad comes through clean and makes the hit. And that's a courageous quarterback. Gans throws the football with Lapdad in his face and throws the strike. And, and that's just an outstanding play by a quarterback under duress. First down and goal to go from the three. Phillips leading the way for Lucky. And Lucky is stacked up. I don't think he got anything. Holt again leading the way for Kansas. And let's take a look uh, again at Kansas defensively here. And our Prudential report will give you an idea of what the Hawks expect up to on the defensive end is allowing just 10 points a game. And take a look at their red zone D. They don't let people in there very often. This is only the 14th time. This is the ninth football game that there's been a red zone penetration. And in five occasions, they've allowed no points. Let's see what happens on this 14th opportunity. Second and goal. Play action. Gans under throwing. Had an opportunity there. Couldn't capitalize on it. Akib Talib was covering. Yeah, Akib Talib bit on the play fake. And he tried to reach and grab the receiver. But it was too late. And if the ball was thrown accurately, it's a touchdown for Nebraska. To leave, watch him on the edge here. He's 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 fooled. He he bites on it. And now it's too late for him to make a play on it. But Gans does not get the football out there accurately enough for it to be a very easy touchdown. Looking for Hunter Tiafatiller. And it's now a third and goal. Gans to throw it again. Got time now. He'll keep the football. And Gans dives in for the opening touchdown, Nebraska. That's what I talked about with Gans, creating plays with his feet, creating and extending plays. And Mark Mangino disappointed that Nebraska gets on the scoreboard first. His defense did a pretty good job in the red zone. 
But you have a quarterback that runs that 4 5 40, has the quick jackhammer feet. And he sees a little bit of a lane there, a little bit of a seam to take advantage of. Everybody's plastering Nebraska receivers. He said, I got to take this myself. That's pretty good explosiveness and athleticism out of the quarterback. Alex Henry, the kicker, hasn't missed this season and is still perfect. 27 of 27 for Henry. 6'2", 170, redshirt freshman out of Omaha. And then the Huskers strike first against eighth-ranked Kansas Gans with the TD. The Club Scrub is the world's first completely detachable golf brush. This totally new design features a more comfortable grip and better bristles. Just clip the Club Scrub to your cart, bag, or belt and detach when needed. Voted best new item in its class, and at just $12.99, it's a must-have for any golfer. It's been scientifically proven that out of the rough or in wet conditions, cleaner grooves give you more spin, therefore more control. I keep my grooves clean with a Club Scrub. Ask for Club Scrub at your favorite retailer today, or call 866-64-SCRUB, or visit online at clubscrub.net. Fox College Sports has the recipe for the ultimate college reunion with over 100 live college football games. FCS is home to the Pac-10, an exclusive Big 12 football you won't find anywhere else. With news from around the NCAA and the coaches' shows that break down all the big games. This is the place where college football never ends. To order Fox College Sports, call 1-877-2-GET-FCS. Walk it out, daddy. <laughs> Good boy. Come on, leave the path. Hey, you need to walk. Get on. on up. Get up now. Yeah, Get girl. the dog on track. Ha <laughs> Show you right. Love that yeah. dog. There you go. See the way. <laughs> the back leader is back, baby. All new episodes of The Dog Whisperer, every Friday night at 8. Only on the National Geographic Channel. Anytime you put something in your body, anytime you look in the mirror, anytime you make a choice about a relationship, is a good time to stop and think about the decisions that impact your life. Find out more at fox.com slash pause. The Dr. Pepper Big 12 football game of the week on FSN is presented by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper, there's more to it. And brought to you in part by Jack in the Box. We don't make it until you order it. By the all-new Ranger RZR. See it up close at your local Polaris Ranger dealer. And by Sonic, it's not just good, it's Sonic good. Take a look at our Toyo tire scoring drive as this Kansas crowd is stunned. 424 is all it took. A block punt keyed an eight play 46 yard drive. Our Toyo tires scoring drive and Nebraska on the board first. And now after Gans TD, Adi Gunalik will kick it off again for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Herford and McAnderson are deep. Herford, the best in the country. Bring it on out. Uh -oh. 15. Got a block, the 20, 25, and knocked out of bounds near the 32-yard line by Major Colbert of Nebraska. Herford averaging 31 yards per kickoff return, tops in the country. He's taken two to the house already this season. Now let's take a look at our principal financial scouting report, first of all, for the Huskers. Well, what they want to do is quiet the crowd. You know, get rid of that 12th man, and they did. They stopped uh, Kansas one, two, three, and out. Deflect a, a punt and score a touchdown. They want to establish the running game. They got that going a little bit in red zone execution. They score a touchdown, their first red zone opportunity. Uh, Joe Gans keeping the play alive and taking it himself. So they accomplished two of their three goals immediately. Reese comes out fire on first to ten and completes it to Dexton Fields, a 200-pound junior, a six-footer from Dallas. Zach Bowman makes the tackle. Now let's take a look at the Kansas side. Again, Principal Financial Group providing our scouting report. Well, they're, they, they run it for 200 and throw it for 200. And they're balanced within the balance. They involve everybody. Handle success. They get a lot of attaboys this week. Attaboy, you right? No. Sometimes handling success is tougher than handling with adversity. And they want to respect the football. They're plus 11. Nebraska's minus 9. They want that to continue in the turnover department. Second and seven. Reesing fires it to McAnderson. Breaks the tackle and more. 50. Cuts it back and across to inside the 
yard line. Brandon McAnderson known as BMAC and brought down by Steve Octavian, the will linebacker of the Huskers, and now it is Kansas knocking on the door. Well, McAnderson doesn't have the breakaway speed that Sharp does. Sharp may have taken this maybe to the house, but McAnderson has great vision. And that's a poor angle right there taken, and, and now he picks up blocks in the perimeter. Two poor angles by Nebraska. They underestimated the functional football speed of McAnderson. He doesn't lose speed in pads. He carries his pads big time. A 41-yard run is longest of the season. Now they bring Jake Sharp back in, and he cuts it up for a few. A sophomore out of Salina, Kansas, and Kevin Dixon makes the tackle. Anderson, a 41-yard pickup. His previous best was 40 against AM last weekend down at College Station. I think that was a forward pass, though, wasn't it? I think they probably they may have ruled yeah, that a pass. Right but still, that's I mean, that's a big play. That's an explosive play. Anytime you generate a play over 20 yards, it goes down in the explosive category. Yeah, I beg your pardon. His best receiving yardage was 38. And this time 41 on the reception. The pitch back to Reese. And it is complete inside the 15 yard line as Briscoe makes the grab. Thought they might go deep, but they complete it, and Green makes the tackle. Well, if you fashion yourself to be a championship team, you have to answer. Nebraska gets on the board first. Kansas comes storming back. Big play to McAnderson, a little flea flicker, get Nebraska playing on their heels defensively instead of their toes. Executed well. Great decision making by Reeson. Briscoe and Fields go wide left. First and 10 now. The 13 yard line of Nebraska. One of the second time that the opponent has scored first against Kansas this year as Nebraska jumped out early. K State did it. KU came back to win that one. This ball is dropped at the eight yard line. In, in, in fact, Bill, in 480 minutes of football coming into today's game, Kansas has played from behind only 20 minutes and seven seconds. They have played with the lead all year long. Here's our Prudential red zone D and Nebraska. They have certainly struggled in this area. You see worst in the Big 12. Third, this is the 40th penetration of the red zone. People have been running up and down the field like a track meet against this Nebraska defense. Henry wide right. They look that way. Reesing does then comes out. Going in the end zone and tipped by two different players, one from each club. Bowman got a touch on it, and it falls to the field. Intended for Briscoe. Jake Sharp did a good job blocking to give Reesing an opportunity to get out of pocket and extend the play. Watch him right here, Sharp. A little chip. Now pick him up. Again, nice block. Excellent effort. Tip football as you described it, Bill, by Bowman. And the rerouted football gets on top of the receiver before he can react. Briscoe gets eaten up by the tip ball. Keep an eye on Kerry Meyer, the former quarterback and the backup who is playing more and more as a wideout. Meyer, 10 receptions on the year. Reese got him. Got Meyer and a touchdown, Kansas. They answered. They did. He, Meyer in the slot, ran a little post. Big answer. Kerry Meyer with a TD reception. Meyer this year has passed for two. He has run for our TD, and now on the receiving end, he scores. And that'll bring on Scott Webb for the PAT. He's at the top of the screen, runs a little post. reesing has got his eyes glued on him. Kerry Meyer, 6'3", 220, overpowers people for the touchdown. And the point after is good. And a 13-yard TD pass sets up Scott Webb for the PAT. He is 40 of 40. And just like that, we're knotted at 7 here in Lawrence. Sunday night, only on FSN. Be there for the show that breaks down the new BCS standings. The official BCS rating show, exclusively on FSN. Find out who's moving up, who's moving out, and who's moving on towards a berth in a BCS bowl game. Get the numbers as soon as they break. The official BCS rating show, Sunday on FSN. Every hero has a choice. Yours is which three toppings?
Introducing Papa John Super Hero XL3 Pizza. Your choice of any three toppings. And 30% larger than our large. It's a super value at just $12.99. Including a $3 off coupon for Spider-Man 3 on DVD. Call or order on the web. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. If you believe in me, I will, I will believe in what will be. Even the first day I met Coach, he made me feel like I could do better. Uh, you can do better. If you believe in me. I hated that. Feeling like the best I could do would only last one day. But I stuck with it. Well, actually, he stuck with me. When I finally did win, he wasn't surprised. I knew you had it in you. Believing. Pass it on. You did real good. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Remember last week when you hit Vinny in the head with the shovel? I do not recall that. It was too graphic for the kids, <laughs> so I'm going to have to block you. You know, i got to make this That's up. That's really not necessary. This is Vinny's watch. Well, you wonder how Kansas would answer when Nebraska jumps out on top after blocking a punt and then a short drive. Well, how about that? They take care of business, and Meyer gets the TD reception. You have a double slot. Meyer's going to run a post, and so is Dexton Fields. Right here, Asante, he starts to cheat and gets beaten on the inside post, gets confused a little bit. But you have two skinny posts run right behind each other. It's amazing. And Kansas scores a touchdown, well executed, gets Asante. Fooled a little bit, jumps to the outside, makes an easy lane for the quarterback receiver Meyer to take advantage of. Toyo Tire scoring drive, 68 yards, took just 210. Now the kickoff, and the ball goes to Grixby on the kick from Webb to the 25, and then into a pile near the 30 yard line is Courtney Grixby, a 5'9, 170 pound senior from Omaha. Chris Harris made the stop for the University of Kansas, and an eight yard return. So it was 6.32 to go in this first quarter, 7-7. And we'll see how Nebraska answers as they get their second possession. And Kansas doesn't like playing from behind. As I mentioned, 480 minutes of football coming into today, behind for just 20 minutes of it. They weren't behind for very long. Nebraska scored. Kansas came roaring right back down the field to tie it up. They don't like being behind people. First and 10 for Gans, and he tucks it under. And he's hit hard as they close quickly. James Holt making the tackle for the Jayhawks. Gans last year a backup to Zach Taylor. Completed 54% of his passes for 122 yards and three TDs. This first down marker is brought to you by Overstock.com. Your entire order ships for just $2.95 at Overstock.com. Live better with Overstock.com. It's all about the O. You know who showed me something that first drive, Bill, was, it was uh, Joe Gans. Jake Lapdad was right in his face, and he completed a ball under pressure, and then he extended a play and took it to the end zone for himself for a score. He's creative back there. Second and five, and the handoff right up the middle and to the 38-yard line. Lucky stop by Rivera and Holt in that KU defense. Rivera's got some size to him. Six foot three, 255 pound linebacker is playing at that weak side position. That means he can run a little bit. And in Kansas, they all play their gaps beautifully. Gap control, responsibility, get off blocks, and usually tackle very well. First possession for Nebraska, they missed some tackles in space. Kansas defense tops in the Big 12 and fewest points allowed at 10.2 and in total defense allowing just 263.9 per game in total yardage. Wow. Somebody forgot Lucky. He's at the 50, the 40, a foot race. Lucky will score as he stays in bounds. And Nebraska gets another six. Yeah, that, that breaks Johnny Rogers' record set in 1972. His 56 catch goes to the house. How about that? Marlon Lucky, what a way to move into some special company as Harper missed the tackle and Lucky 
gives Nebraska a six point lead pending the kick from Alex Henry. Harper was trying to recover very uncharacteristic a brain cramp big mistake in coverage for Kansas. Lucky's wide open. And the kick is good. Henry boots it straight through and with 4.58 to go in the first quarter, Nebraska bounces right back. Gans has scored one, throws a TD pass as Lucky takes it all the way. All right, today we're gonna to start with 12 BCS game appearances, add eight final fours. 276 academic All-Americans and 385 NCAA championships. That's an important ingredient. Mix that all together. Oh, that is gonna be so good. And we'll put it in the oven for about 12 years. And voila, the Big 12 Conference. Celebrating 12 big years. Who wants some now? Put them things down, Miss Clara, because I'm gonna kiss you. BCS standings. The official BCS rating show, exclusively on FSN. Find out who's moving up, who's moving out, and who's moving on towards a berth in a BCS bowl game. Get the numbers as soon as they break. The official BCS rating show, Sunday on FSN. and foes battle it out and the winner takes all literally you lose this race you lose your ride right right pinks only on speed the best damn sports show period weeknights on fsn Welcome back to Lawrence, Kansas. What a start. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown after the opening possession of Kansas was stopped with a block punt. And this time, Lucky, 62 yards on the receiving end and the Toyo Tire scoring drive, if you'll call it that. Zip, 134, yeah. and it took just three plays. That's Lucky's second touchdown reception of the season. He's rushed for six, now he's caught two. He's a touchdown maker himself, big play guy. We'll show you what happened, how he got so wide open after the kickoff. Here. Yeah, Kansas is going to look at the game tapes and go, wait a minute, we didn't catch any breaks. Herford takes it at the two. 15, looking for a, a block, and now brings it over the other side. He's at the 30, the 40, and Herford near midfield scampers out of bounds, and Kansas is sitting pretty again. Anthony Blue was the cover man. Let's go back to that touchdown, and Dave, let's show him what you're talking about. Yeah, this is uh, this is the old pick play. Watch Maurice Purify come down and pick off Holt. Holt's faking a blitz. He knows he's got Lucky out of the backfield. Holt tries to come out. Purify picks his bones clean. It's not supposed to be allowed. Boom, picks him clean. And there goes Lucky off to the races. Nobody in the vicinity and trying desperately to close the gap and make a play as Harper. But Lucky can scoot, and he was Gandhi. And a 48-yard kick return sets KU up first and 10 at the 50. Reesing unloads and incomplete. Let's check in now with John Rannigan and a Dr. Pepper game break. All right, Bill Land, thank you very much. Ohio State trying to run their record to 10-0, and, and they get the touchdown pass from Todd Beckman to Brian Rabisky. He's the son of the great Terry Rabisky, formerly of LSU, an NFL career, and now a coach with the Dolphins. He coaches wide receivers. He's got to be proud of his son, Ohio State, up 7-3. Thank you, John. Look forward to keeping you keeping us up to date throughout the afternoon. Henry, one of the wideouts, is Reesing, tossing, looking, got him, 
and Henry makes the reception. Boy, what a nice touch pass and great reception at the 30 of Nebraska. Murillo covered. Murillo at six feet, and Henry's at six four. And at this point, Reese is saying, I I'm going to get it airborne and let my bigger receiver make the contested catch. The problem that took place there, Murillo never turned to find the football. Henry, their leading receiver coming in with 32 for 585 yards. Tops on the KU charts in both categories. And a first and 10 at the 30 for the Jayhawks. And the handoff to Sharp cuts it right back up and gets it across the 25 to the 24 yard line. John Radigan filling us in Ohio State. Let's send it down now to Emily Jones with a little bit more on this one. Well, guys, as you know, Nebraska's problems this season have been well chronicled, but in talking to Bill Callahan this week, he said, you know what? We've got a great group of kids, and this group of kids does not give up. We try to harp on the things that are going right. A few things are going right for the Cornhuskers today as they are on top in this one. You know what else he said, guys? You know what? Sometimes you just got to be a little lucky. He's got a good lucky, and he has had some good luck today as well. Here's the end around, and Henry, he may score. Bumped out of bounds near the one-yard line. Boy. Man, we're talking about defense. Nobody's playing any defense. The offenses are owning this thing. Both, both offensive coordinators are in a great groove. Ed Warner with a great call. Watch the blocking on the on the edge here. Great block right there. Gets it going down the football field. That was Fields blocking for his partner. And, and down the football field a little further, Brandon McAnderson trying to get it done. When you have a big play like that, usually something took place on the edge with the wide receivers in terms of blocking people in Fields. Tip of the cap to you on that one. 23 yard pickup. Henry wide to the right side here. Well, first and goal. McAnderson brought down from behind. Great pursuit that time by Steve Octavian, the senior from Naples, Florida. Leading tackler for Nebraska coming in with 60 stops on the year. Nine tackles for loss coming in, make it 10. And that was at a very key critical time inside the five yard line. Six feet, 240 pounds, coming downhill. A run blitz, taking a big body to the turf. Wide open. In the end zone, flag is thrown, ball incomplete as Murillo was covering on the play and intended for Henry again. You know, that. And why not go to the six foot four incher? You know, in the red zone, those big wide receivers just get it up like Reesing is and, and go for the contested catch, and that's pass interference, just locking them up. Pass interference, defense. Foul occurred in the end zone. The ball will be placed on the two yard line. First down. College football, it's at the two yard line, not the one like on Sundays. But you know that that's not a it's not a bad play to make if you're beaten and you know you're beaten. Grab them. Don't let them make an easy play. And right there, grab the arms, make sure he doesn't catch. The worst thing is if you interfere like that and he catches the football, Gorilla almost let that happen. You have to violently rake at those arms and don't even let it get his arms up in the air. Henry and Fields go wide to the right side. And a first and goal to go from the two-yard line now. And the pitch. Easy. Touchdown, Kansas, as McAnderson strolls into the end zone. He gets his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. And KU comes right back. And it's 14-13 now. Amazing. This is like a tennis match. Who's going to hold serve, you know? And both of these teams have an answer for each other. And big play after big play. Is expecting a lower scoring football game than this, quite honestly. But boy, this has been an entertaining game. Webb with a point after attempt. It is good. So after Kansas being stopped on the first series of the game, it's been touchdown, 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 touchdown. Amazing. And once again, blocking, options run. Nobody has the pitch, man. Look at the blocking in the end zone. I mean, that's just locking people out. Up. Nice job, Dexton Fields. You had a heck of a series block. You look at him just lock him up. Wouldn't even let him come out of the end zone. He just said, Grixby, you're frozen three yards deep in the end zone. Man, Dexton Fields, he's an honorary lineman. He's an honorary hog the way he's blocking on the edge. Boy, we had a day, you were talking earlier, Dave, about uh, the record-setting catch by Lucky, joining the company of Johnny Rogers, and racing on that touchdown pass to Kerry Meyer, ties Bill Whittemore for the all-time single-season TD mark in Kansas history with 18 in a year. Whittemore, Bill Whittemore here in 2003, and Kerry Meyer, also 
working his way into history as Meyer getting with a running touchdown as well as a receiving touchdown and a passing touchdown. And that hadn't happened since Garfield Taylor back in 1981. Man, it's been a, a day of football history here, and it, we're only in the first quarter. And I'll tell you, recently 18 touchdowns, Bill, only four interceptions. 18 touchdowns, four picks. That ratio is huge. And the kickoff. Grixby from about the 11 to the 20, 25. Ooh. And upended and hit hard near the 30-yard line, just shy of that mark. Dakota Lewis with a stop for the Kansas Jayhawks. Whataburger with our leaders for this week here. And we'll take a look. Teams with two 600-yard rushers, well, you're looking at one of them here. Arkansas, of course, with their duo. West Virginia, everybody's heard about them. People are starting to hear about KU now. No doubt about it. And, and the amazing thing is, we're talking about balance within the balance bill coming into today's game. McAnderson had 102 carries. Sharp had 105. And, and McAnderson's got a few more carries than Sharp today, so it's almost 50-50 balance in terms of distributing the ball to those two outstanding backs. They average 6.3 per carry across the middle. This one deflected as Gans trying to light him up. Joe Mortensen got a hand on it. He's disappointed he didn't hold on to it. He thought he had an interception there, trying to get the ball to Swift. Here's a note for you. KU has trailed five times all season, and each of the last four times responded with a score to tie or go ahead on the next possession. And they've done so today. Nice little pivot route run by Swift. But once again, Joe Mortensen taking a disciplined drop in defensive coordinator's Bill, Bill Young scheme. They know where to be, what to do. Lucky the tailback on a second and 10. Gans rolls out for Nebraska, or even at 14. Incomplete near the 47-yard line of Kansas. Justin Thornton, a sophomore DB, breaking it up. He is out of St. Joe, Missouri Central High School. Got three picks this season. And, and this is where Nebraska does not want to be. They don't want to be in third and long against Bill Young because Bill Young runs that nickel defense where he can give you multiple pressure looks. He's got three down linemen, and just about anybody can blitz. And, and right now, Joe Gans trying to get a pre-snap recognition who's going to come because they all could. Third and ten. Nebraska purified the intended receiver and Nebraska will have to punt it for the first time today. Harper covering on the play and they're talking a lot about Kendrick Harper. He's a junior out of Georgia who is finally starting to get healthy. Had a wrist injury early on and came back in October and Harper is a guy that they are really excited about his play out of Butler County Community College down the road here in Kansas. And Bill he's 5'9". That's what a lot of people are concerned about but he's a buck 90. If he were 6'1", he'd weigh about 210. I mean, he's a good-sized cornerback, and he's not afraid of anything. This kid is a fearless football player. He will strike you. Titchener, who's averaging 41 and a half per kick, gets off a clean one, and it is taken at the 35-yard line. Anthony Webb, and Webb is brought down at the 38-yard line, but Kansas still getting very good field position, and Bo Davis making the stop. Let's send it down to Emily Jones. Well, guys, we are pleased today to be a part of the broadcast of the American Forces Network, broadcasting in 177 countries around the world, serving our armed forces, as well as ships across the sea, and um, we are very happy to have them with us. And um, just an example of some of the countries we are being seen in, Germany, Italy, South Korea, and Japan. And guys and gals, we are so glad you are with us. Please be safe, and thanks so much for and all God, you do. And God bless each and every one of you. And Emily's playing injured today. Em Emily's playing hurt today, Bill. Emily's my heroine. Yeah, she's refusing to go on the injured reserve list today. So That's tip right. of the cap to Emily as well, and to certainly echo her thoughts to all of our servicemen and women across the world. Allen making the tackle on that play, and now KU coming up with a second down and nine. First quarter at 2:21 and ticking. And we're tied at 14 and just an incredible fast start here in Lawrence. The reason we're able to enjoy this football game today in this country that we have is because you armed forces out there and we thank you. Sharp they fake it to him. Reese tosses it and complete and a first down across the 50 as fine making the reception Derek fine 
had three grabs for 32 yards in the win against AM, and he scored three times this year. Watch, watch this misdirection. Everybody's going here, a little naked bootleg, lob the ball to find, athletic play. Man, how would you like to be a linebacker there? Everything's going one direction. An athletic, quick-footed quarterback comes out the other way with his tight end, naked bootleg, get it to fine. Great, great conception, great execution. First and ten, and again, complete. Herford bumps into the receiver trying to make a block, and Jones makes the tackle. Yeah, that was just an outstanding defensive play. Yeah, they busted it up as Dexton Fields, the receiver. Well, watch. This is a great defensive effort because he breaks the blocker down and takes the blocker right back into his running back. I mean, that's just a physical effort out there by Jones. It's like, you're not going to get it after me, Herford. I'm under your pads, and I'm going to knock you back into your receiver who's trying to make the make the play, and he, and he blew up Fields. Second 11 for Reesing and crew as he rolls out. Throws it downfield and right on the spot. I'll tell you what. Five, they, they originally listed him at 5'11", 200. They say he might be 5'9". It doesn't matter. This guy can play. He can play. and Get him out of pocket. Watch, watch him get out of pocket, and he's going to check out his receiver down the football field. And watch the, or excuse me, here's, here's where he's going. He's going down the field deeper into double coverage. Lays it between the safety and corner. Nice job getting out of out of pocket, allowing him to have vision to see Fields down the football field. And Dexton Fields picks up 25 yards on that reception. Another first down. This time they're going for six, and they got it. Sharp in the end zone. Touchdown, Jayhawks. With a minute to go in the first quarter, Kansas is on the board again. McAnderson, a nice block to help set that play up. And, that, and a matchup that you want to have, because you... You have you have running back on linebacker, and if you got Octavian trying to cover Sharp out of the backfield, that's a mismatch. And they, you're going to run right by a six foot one inch, 240 pounder. There's no way. Sharp is a track athlete in high school. That's a mismatch. Kansas capitalized. And the point after is good by Webb, and Kansas takes the lead for the first time today, as Kansas with Jake Sharp on the 26-yard pass reception from Reesing. And the key is, nobody is impeding the vision of quarterback Reesing. He has a clear line of vision. He sees Sharp matched up with Octavian. He starts to drool and lays it out there. Sharp was a great dual athlete in high school, running back and a track and field guy. He was 2005 player of the year in the state of Kansas. He can scoot. And a big day for Reesing. Back down to Emily Jones. Well, guys, we talked to Ed Warner, the offensive coordinator for Kansas, about Todd Reesing, and he said, you know what? No one told him, I don't think, that he's 5'9", 180. And we all said, really? He's 5'9", 180? He goes, you know what? I'll give him 5'10", 185. <laughs> right. He may be small, but he plays awfully big. He sure does. You know, that old saying, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. And that young man, Todd Reesing, is a competitive, can-do guy. You tell Reesing, nah, you're too small. You can't do it. He's got a chip on his shoulder about as big as a two by four. That's a big old chip. And, and he's, he's playing with a little attitude. And he's saying, I'm proving people wrong. He's like Drew Brees. I mean, he's like Chase Daniel. They were all said, ah, you're too small. All these guys do is compete and succeed. And they, too, were Texas high school quarterbacks. Reesing, the Texas 4A player of the year, Lake Travis in Austin. Nobody down there wanted him. Grixby on the return. 30, 35, and Nebraska saying, all right, I guess it's our turn to come back now as they get a good return. And Springer makes the stop. Justin Springer here for the Kansas Jayhawks. And now the Huskers will have it first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Bill, I, I think instead of a, this is a track meet, but there's not a baton, there's a football. And they're passing off the football instead of the baton. I mean, this is literally a track meet. Both offenses have a heck of a game plan, and they're getting mismatches. Football's all about getting favorable matchups. And right now, the offenses are creating all the favorable matchups. Lawson and Lucky in the backfield as Gans hands it off to Lucky. Lucky. Cannot break it here. Mortensen makes the tackle. We're inside the final minute of the first quarter here at Kansas. And this is the first lead that Kansas had today. 
They've come from behind to tie it twice. They take a lead, so the defense responding to the offense, saying, "Hey, you know what? You hang 21 points on the board in the first quarter. All right, we're gonna we're gonna buckle down and get after it here. We're a little embarrassed by allowing Nebraska to jump on us for 14. Well, maybe the final play coming up in the quarter: 298 yards of offense, 182 for KU, 116 for Nebraska as we get ready to wrap up this first quarter here in Lawrence and Gans wants to throw it and does but it goes out of bounds stops the clock with seven seconds Terrence Nunn the intended receiver and Mortensen got a hit on Gans and those hits will accumulate Mortensen came on the blitz up the gut and got a, uh, he was a free runner at quarterback Gans and Gans is courageous now he stays in that pocket till the last minute and delivers it and most popular guy in the football team, not just because he's a backup quarterback, but because he's a really good guy. And they rally around Gantz and Mortensen, who initially uh, said he was going to go to Nebraska, and uh, changed his mind when Frank Solis said, uh, you know, I'm no longer the Nebraska head coach. And here he is at Kansas having a great career right here. Gans, four of 10 for 90 plus yards. And this one dropped across the middle. Wide open receiver Nate out of Hutchinson, Minnesota. Can't find the handle this time. Sadiq Muhammad was covering for Kansas, and there's two seconds to go now in this first quarter. And Nebraska will kick it away. A slight breeze, but wind really not much of a factor in today's kicking. If he catches that, he might have had the first down. I mean, the ball thrown slightly behind him, and if he catches it, if the ball's out in front, I'm not sure Muhammad takes him down. Gans threw the ball slightly behind Swift, or they might have been still on the football field. Anthony Webb, a sophomore out of Dallas South Oak Cliff High School, is deep on Titchener's punt. Webb dropped it, picked it up, Ooh. and then rocked hard near the 30-yard line, and Tanaris is the one that made the stop there for Nebraska. And a wild first quarter is finally over here in Lawrence, Kansas, at Memorial Stadium, Cavisco Field. It is Kansas, the eighth-ranked team in the country by any poll. They lead it 21-14. We'll be back after this word from Dr. Pepper, your local Dr. Pepper Bomber. Wouldn't it be great if you could carry all your favorite family photos with you in an album that's the size of a credit card? Well, now you can. Introducing Wallet Picks, the world's thinnest digital photo album that lets you carry all your favorite photos right in your pocket. Look, it's the size of a credit card, yet it holds over 50 of your favorite photos. Perfect for carrying your favorite family and vacation photos, special occasion shots, pictures of your children or grandchildren. Just think, over 50 of your favorite photos right here in this pocket-sized digital photo album. That's easy to take with you. There's even a built-in stand and a slideshow feature that changes the photos automatically so you can proudly display your photos or fill one with all your favorite photos and send it off to someone special for the gift that everyone will enjoy. So why leave all your favorite photos at home when now it's easy to take them with you with Wallet Picks for just two easy payments of $19.99. You'll also receive the USB cable for downloading your photos and our Lux carrying case, a $30 value, yours free. But call right now and we'll double the offer and give you two Wallet Picks digital albums, two carrying cases, two USB cables, and our 60 day money back guarantee, all for just two payments of $19.99. But you have to call now. To order Wallet Picks, have your credit card ready and call 1 800 208 6949. That's 1 800 208 6949. Call now. This is a message from the Fuel TV Broadcasting System. Not a real emergency. You should immediately log on to www.fuel.tv. It's Fuel TV's new website. That's www.fuel.tv. College basketball snaps into focus. Chase Budinger and the Arizona Wildcats have their sights set on making some noise in the desert. But Sean Singletary and the Virginia Cavaliers are ready to prove they belong with the nation's elite. College basketball presented by KFC, November 17th on FSN. Every week, some will rise, some will fall. 
And some will take the next step on the road to the BCS. Unbelievable! BCS Breakdown on FSN. With previews of Saturday's biggest matchups and detailed analysis of the national championship picture. BCS Breakdown, Friday on FSN. What a first quarter here in Lawrence. There's the KU possessions, a punt had, that was uh, deflected and blocked, and then they answered with touchdowns of 68-yard drives, 50 at 62, and the Jayhawks have the lead, 21 to 14, as we start the second quarter, and Jake Sharp and Meyer come in to join Reesing in the backfield as Sharp the lone back now beside quarterback Reesing and Sharp who's got a touchdown gets the carry here not much happening though as Grigsby makes the stop Meyer McAnderson and Sharp have scored for Kansas Gans and Lucky have scored the TDs for Nebraska in a back and forth first quarter and now KU a second and nine from their 31 here to start the second after that first run by Sharp. Flag is thrown. Sharp on the receiving end. And he is brought down after a couple of hard-earned yards. Grigsby making the tackle and will sort out the flag. I think Kevin Dixon was in the neutral zone, the big defensive tackle for Nebraska, but was he drawn in the neutral zone or did he jump? Offside defense. Number 91. It'll be a five yard penalty. Second down. 91. I thought it was 97. There is no 91. It was 97. It uh, was Dixon. It was Dixon, yeah. And he jumped in the neutral zone. He was, here he is right here. He's going to, a little early. Center snap in the football. Good job. Got him for a free five. Dixon's glad that the ref gave the wrong number. Yeah. <laughs> Second down and four. Ball on the 36. McAnderson in the backfield now. Reesing, quick out, and he completes it, and it's out of bounds near the 43 yard line to Marcus Henry. And here's John Radigan with another Dr. Pepper game break. Bill N, thank you. Georgia coach Mark Rick says, Boys, a game you really wish wasn't on the schedule, to be honest, but Georgia, fresh off their victory over Florida, gets this run from No Sean Moreno. Check him out as he waits for the block and then breaks the final tackle. 80 yards for a touchdown. Georgia up on top of the floor right now, Bill. All right, thanks very much, John. You Troy certainly uh, caught the attention nationally when they beat Oklahoma State in the non conference portion of the season. And the Cowboys got a big one tonight against Texas down in Oklahoma. As here it is Kansas and Nebraska. Meyer, the receiver on this play, green covering, and Kansas will hurry up here, picking up four on the play. It's amazing. Kansas looks to the sideline for the offensive call. Nebraska's defense looks to the sideline for their defensive call when you're in this no huddle, spread attack, up tempo offense. You have to make adjustments, and Nebraska's getting their calls without a huddle as well, defensively. Second down and six for Kansas. Reesing finds Henry and short of the first down. Well, we'll see where they spot the football. They got a little bit of a break. T.R. Green makes the tackle near the 47 yard line. There's a flag on Kansas. I think they might be calling fine for, or are they going to call Octavian? Octavian and fine were locked up. Maybe they're going to call Octavian for holding fine or else fine for offensive pass interference. Let's see which way it goes. Defense, number five. The hold occurred on an eligible receiver. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Well, that's on Murillo if that's the case. Armando Murillo, a junior out of Tampa, Florida, came in with seven breakups and 50 tackles. And Murillo's saying, that's on me? What? I thought Octavian, Octavian and Fine looked like they were messing around to me. And Octavian's wearing 15. So I'm not sure. Who the call was on, but nonetheless, it's a fresh set of downs for the Rock Chalk Jayhawks. First and ten for the Jayhawks. 13-10, second quarter remaining. Jayhawks up seven, and they are at the 43 now of Nebraska. And Reesing. 
Out of the shotgun. Oh, nearly picked off as they were bringing the receiver Briscoe back in toward the field of play, and he couldn't quite come up with it. Well, they were trying to run that uh, that little alley screen, and, and Nebraska's pressure was extreme on Reesing. He had he had no time, no opportunity to throw the football, and here unblocked. Uh, uh, that that's the, that's the big boy. That's Zach Potter at six seven, coming from the backside and, and making life miserable for Reesing. He had to throw the football before he really wanted to. Second and ten for Kansas and McAnderson. They had almost a fumble with Reesing on the handoff, and McAnderson stopped near the 42 as Sue makes the tackle for Nebraska. This is uh, where you don't want to be as an offense. You don't want to be third and ten. You don't want to be third and seven or more because defensively you can be very creative with your pressure packages. McAnderson lines up with the quarterback Todd Reesing. Third and ten at the 43. They come after him. He's got a man and it is complete. And that will move the chains as once again Dexton Fields on the receiving end this time. And they'll mark it inside the 30 at the 28 yard line. Larry Asante covering in the strong safety spot. Good job picking up the blitzer. They sort it out. Crispy gets picked up. Offensive line doing a good job. The route is run. Getting out of his break very effectively. Fields creating some separation. Found a soft spot in the zone. Nice effort. Good. It all started up front. Picking up the blitz, giving Reesing vision to see downfield. First and ten. They fake to Sharp. Reesing got time now. They chase after it. Oh, Fired in the end zone. It's a jump ball and out of play. Intended down there for Marcus Henry. <laughs> he had two down there. Briscoe was down there wide open long before Marcus Henry came in the area. Well, you know, when you've got guys like Briscoe at 6'3 and Henry at 6'4, both athletic get up in the air, gets those shorter DBs, that's not such a bad play, Dave. Watch how open he gets. I mean, they let him go. That's who I, I was oh, like, man. wide open. And I'm thinking, that's where he's going, but the ball sails. I mean, I don't think he saw Briscoe. If he had seen Briscoe, the ball would have gotten out a lot earlier, and Briscoe's there for an easy six. Broken coverage by Nebraska. Kansas up 21-14, looking for more after being down and trading scores. They lead it by seven. Reesing runs right through the defense, and he's got a first down as Octavian makes the tackle. I'll tell you, he can accelerate, and when he makes his mind up, he gets after it. This guy has got a capital C on his chest for competitor. He is a playmaker. And Reesing is an outstanding college quarterback. Makes his mind up right now. Plant the foot First in the uh, turf and get upfield. Get as much as you can before Octavian takes you down. McAnderson in the backfield now after Reesing 11 yard pickup. Reesing has run for 193 yards and one TD this year. He's thrown for two today. In trouble here, scrambling. Gets it off, and it is complete at the 10 yard line. I don't know how he found his man, Derek Fine. Fine makes a good, tough catch and a positive out of what could have been a big loss. Well, that's what we talked about at the top of the broadcast how Todd Reesing creates and extends plays with his feet. And here's a great example of it. He beats the pressure, gets to the outside, throws back across his body. He's got some riverboat gambler in him because that could have gone the other way. Murillo could have stepped in front of the receiver and gone the other way, but fine with the bigger body, fought him for the football and won the contested catch. It's what helped Reeson get this job when he came on last year when Meyer had gotten hurt. And now McAnderson, another TD for Kansas as Brandon McAnderson takes in his second score of the day. And Kansas now up 27 to 14. And I'll tell you the guy that should take a big tip of the cap. Watch Rodriguez. Watch the big tackle. Stay with your block. Stay with it. Stay with it. Pancake. Finished the block. A nice job on the edge. But Rodriguez finished his block. And McAnderson got around the corner. And then he cut inside his wide receiver's block. Good job of finishing up front and on the edge. And Scott Webb, busy man here in the early going. 
Going for his fourth PAT of the day, and it is good. As Webb, the senior out of Tulsa Union High School, makes it 28 to 14, and Kansas now in control of this one after some back and forth moments early on. We're back on FSN in a moment. Introducing new triple dip strips from KFC for just $2.99. Three juicy all white meat crispy strips with three dipping sauces held in place so they're easy to eat on the go. Choose from six different sauces, including new garlic parmesan. No one makes it easier to dip on the go than KFC. Jack Link's Beef Jerky presents Messing with Sasquatch. <laughs> Jack Link's Jerky, feed your wild side. Introducing new triple dip strips from KFC for just $2.99. Three juicy all white meat crispy strips with three dipping sauces held in place so they're easy to eat on the go. Choose from six different sauces, including new garlic parmesan. No one makes it easier to dip on the go than KFC. Brick by brick, stone by stone, we build a place. Our own. Gonna fill it up with laughter. Ride my happy ever after. Cause for the first time in my life, I'm holding the key to a brand new life waiting on me. That's what makes a house a home. Across the country and around the world, thousands of Habitat homeowners and millions of volunteers know the joy and pride of seeing a house become a home. A brighter future, one family at a time. Support Habitat's work in your community. Volunteer, get involved, and help build it. Visit Habitat.org. That's what makes a house a home. The air conditioner and the lawnmower. Both are ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support the United Negro College Fund because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Beautiful day, homecoming here in Kansas. McAnderson gets his second touchdown of the day. And uh, yeah, production is what counts. Six rushes, 13 yards, and two TDs as Kansas got him standing again for the kickoff. What's new? 28 14 with 10 34 to go in the second quarter. Bill and Dave Lapham, Emily Jones with you on FSN College Football Saturday. This just uh, one of a couple of huge Big 12 games we've got for you. Don't forget later on from the Rocky Mountains, it is Missouri and Colorado in a key Big 12 North game. Grixby will not return that one. Let's send it down to Emily Jones with a pretty successful coach in his own right, the basketball coach, Bill Self. That is right, and uh, Kansas largely known as a basketball school, but uh, Bill Self, I would imagine you don't mind sharing the spotlight this time of year. I hope we're both. You know, uh, uh, football team's just doing great. You can tell by the atmosphere and the number of people here. It's just great for our school. The only program in the nation to have men's basketball and football ranked in the top 10. You guys are top 10 preseason. What does this do for your program? Program. Well, I think it's great for recruiting, and it's great for our, 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 all the sports to get exposed by football. And uh, we're getting a lot of national exposures now, and it's just good for everybody. There's a new energy and enthusiasm on campus right now. Personally, Mark Mangino has done the right things. It's hard not to root for him. It's, I would imagine good to see him doing so well. Oh, yeah. You know, we pull for everybody, and he's been a great supporter of our program. And, you know, we're obviously good friends, and we've tried to be a great supporter of his. And But really, there's only one team right now in the top ten, and that's his because we haven't played anybody yet. But hopefully we can play at the same level these his guys have played, too. Finally, Coach, expecting big things out of your team this season? I think so. I think we're going to be good. Uh, uh, I love our guys. We return most of them. Now we need to get healthy. We need Brandon to get healthy, but I think that'll happen. So it should be a fun year. All right, Coach Self, we do appreciate it. Guys, Kansas A football and basketball school right now. There you go, Emily. Yeah. Thanks so much, Emily. Best of luck to oh, Paul wow. Self. Right across the slam, Purify trying to stay on his feet, and Purify stumbles, but not until he gets to the 20-yard line. Maurice Purify from Gans.
hands. Harper was the tackler. Harper, he stayed with him and stayed with him. Purify couldn't shake him. And he stiff-armed him and, and lost a little bit of balance. And Harper stayed after him. But it was just a simple slant. Got inside. Got inside of Harper. And Harper's desperate now. I have to stay after him. Purf Purify's <laughs> trying to push him push him away. Get away. He, get away. He was going to try to push him by him and cut behind him. He stiff-arms now. He says, let me try the other thing. Let me slow down and try to push you by me. Oh, no. I lose my balance. And down I go. 60 yards, his longest reception of the year, and Nebraska down two touchdowns saying we better get back on the board. Coach it's first and 10 at the 20. Coach Mangino saying don't give up that inside to purify. The fake to Lucky, Gans in trouble, escapes the rusher, keeps it. 25 and out of bounds at the 20-yard line. You know, Dave, before the game, uh, it was fun visiting up people in the press box talking about Kansas and Bill Self and basketball. Somebody from Nebraska said, how many days to the season opener in basketball? Right. That's what they used to say here at KU. The rules have been reversed this year. And, and this is fast break basketball on field turf. I mean, there's there's a ton of big plays. I mean, this is like finishing the fast break. And, and uh, let's take a look. There's, there's what we're talking about. Emily mentioned at Kansas, the only two programs, football and basketball, in the top ten preseason basketball and, and currently in football. And it, uh, Texas is in the mix as well, and to 15 in each. And a timeout is called here Nebraska. with 9.50 to go in the half, 28-14. Nebraska knocking on the door again. And we'll take a brief break and be right back with more here at KU. If you owe taxes or are facing an IRS lien or wage garnishment, here's important news for you. Now there's a new program that will immediately end wage garnishments, remove IRS liens, and eliminate IRS tax penalties. Call right now to enroll in the Rapid Relief Program from Advantage Tax Resolution and have your tax liabilities reduced by up to 90%. Hi, I'm Corbin Burnton for Advantage Tax Resolution. You know, tax problems can strike at any time, even if you've done nothing wrong. Advantage Tax Resolution was founded to help people just like you resolve your tax problems permanently. I'd never been able to take on the IRS myself, but I got help. I had my tax lien removed and my debt reduced 90%. Call right now to enroll in the new Rapid Relief Tax Resolution Program. It's the last call you'll need to make about your taxes. Call 800-409-1680 to find out more information about Advantage Tax Resolution's Rapid Relief Program. Every game, every score, Every highlight. It's the FSN final score. 30 minutes every night of the week. Bringing you all the action from the world of sports. It's the one show where serious sports fans go for serious sports highlights. The FSN final score. Presented by DirecTV. Game of the Week on FSN is brought to you by Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. By Dr. Pepper, your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper, there's more to it. By Sonic, it's not just good, it's Sonic good. And the first down marker is brought to you by Overstock.com. Your entire order ships for just $2.95 at Overstock.com. Live better with Overstock.com. It's all about the O. Boy, isn't it today here in Lawrence, Kansas, on a beautiful homecoming Saturday afternoon. Oh, you got that right. 28-14 Kansas, but Nebraska, a second and nine on the Jayhawks, 19 with 9.50 to go in this first half. They're going for six in the end zone, and it is caught, and a touchdown Purify. Gans, a beautiful pass to lead, beaten on the play, and Purify gets his fourth TD of the season. And they went at Kansas's best. To lead, 6'2", 205-pound corner, does not get beaten often for six. Purify is a stud. 
6'4", 220 pounds. In the red zone, he is a weapon. Get it up, contested catch. He did a good job of, of getting his hands on Tlaib, where Tlaib could never leave the ground. Purified did, and controlled the football at its apex. Here comes Henry for the PAT, and Alex Henry takes care of that. So, Nebraska, after giving up three touchdowns, comes back and scores here, and it's 28-21. We'll be back after this word from Dr. Pepper, your local Dr. Pepper Bombers. Struggling with credit card debt? Is it difficult just making your minimum payments? Tired of the harassing calls? If you're on substantial credit card debt and need help, call now and settle your accounts for less than you owe. Call the Hermosa Group today to find out how you can quickly and easily eliminate your debt for less than you owe. Life can be better. Call the Hermosa Group now. Get a low monthly payment that fits your budget. Call now. Fox College Sports has the recipe for the ultimate college reunion with over 100 live college football games. FCS is home to the Pac-10, an exclusive Big 12 football you won't find anywhere else. With news from around the NCAA and the coaches' shows that break down all the big games. This is the place where college football never ends. To order Fox College Sports, call 1-877-2-GET-FCS. Put them things down, Miss Clara, because I'm going to kiss you. and the winner takes all, literally. You lose this race, you lose your ride. Right, right. Pinks, only on speed. The best damn sports show, period. Weeknights on FSN. 28-21, eighth-ranked Kansas leading Nebraska by a touchdown. And KU will get their hands on the football again as Adi Kudelik will kick it off and purify, making the connection for 97-yard, capping off a 97-yard drive on a 19-yard TD reception, his fourth score of the year. And Nebraska now pulls back within a touchdown and will kick it off to Kansas with 9.44 to go in the first half still. Nebraska rallying around Joe Gans. He's playing well, and they're rallying around him. And it goes to Herford. 25, 30, and Herford sheds a tackler. Comes right back into it, but still a great return. Brings it out just shy of the 40-yard line where Todd Peterson makes the stop for Nebraska after 29-yard return. Here's the Kansas scoring looks today. Meyer. Not quarterback, he's in the double slot. He runs the post, and he scores. Now you get the big boy, McAnderson. Very easy on the option. Now you go over the top to his running mate, Sharp. Now you get Anderson back again on the ground. So Anderson's rushed the two. Sharp has caught a touchdown pass. Meyer has caught a touchdown pass. Little balance, as always, in that Kansas offense. Meyer, the receiver here on this first down play, got a nice block and picks up some pretty good yardage as he gets across the 45 near midfield. Let's check in again with John Radigan and the Dr. Pepper game break. All right, Bill Lance, thank you very much. Stay in the Big 12 for this one. Iowa State, K-State, and it's Alexander Robinson with a two-yard touchdown run, his second touchdown of the day. Iowa State looking for win number two in the Gene Chizik era. You never know. Iowa State, a team that's had just a really rough go under first-year head coach Gene Chizik and trying to pull off the upset of the, upset of the Wildcats. Here, Sharp gets the carry down to the 47 as McEwen makes the tackle. Well, Kansas, Dave, comes in here as one of five unbeaten teams in the country. No one would have thought that back in August. They are 8-0, and they're the only unbeaten in the Big 12. 
and trying to point toward a showdown with Missouri in the season finale at Arrowhead Stadium. How about the Big 12 North? Two representatives in the BCS top 10. The Big 12 North has had some big wins amongst themselves, of course, competing, and then also in competition against the South. Missouri's big game tonight against Colorado on FSN later wow. on. Here's Henry, and he takes it down to the five-yard line. Oh, mama. What about the offenses? Andre Jones on the play. Reesing connects with Marcus Henry. And Reesing was phenomenal, stepping up in the pocket, avoiding the pressure. Reesing again creates and extends plays. Watch him step up, slide step up in the pocket, and get rid of the football. Perfect throw down the football field. Reesing has got it. It's hard to define, but when a guy has it, you know it. And Reesing knows it. And he's got it. Kansas is approaching 300 yards of offense with 834 to go in the half and another touchdown. Reesing throws a bullet and fields on the receiving end this time. Or Henry, I beg your pardon. Henry. Well, Henry made the made the reception on the on the post. And he just gets the inside release. And the defensive backs are giving up the inside too easily. And Reesing just right away seeing it defensive back flat footed gives up the inside no help easy pitch and catch and Scott Webb for the PAT and it's 35 to 21 as Kansas just a minute 14 seconds after Nebraska scored KU says take that Jeez. Weeknights on the best damn sports show, period. Thursday. Are you ready for the return of your favorite swimsuit pageant? We're bringing 129 of the hottest Hooters girls in the world to the hottest city in the desert. That's right, 129 of us. We're in Las Vegas for the 2007 Hooters International Swimsuit Pageant. Then Friday, it's the Stray Train, Michael Strahan, and Ravens linebacker Ray Lewis. Weeknights at 11. Whoa, with stuffed crust pizza, you can't go straight for all that cheese in there. Start slow, enjoy the ride, and then bam, you go for the big cheese. Right. Nobody stuffs the crust like Pizza Hut. The stuffed crust pizza, now with even more melty cheese stuffed inside that amazing crust. Specially priced for a limited time at just $10.99. Second slice, straight for the cheese. Get more with America's favorite pizza, Pizza Hut, now online. Sunday night, only on FSN. Be there for the show that breaks down the new BCS standings. The official BCS rating show, exclusively on FSN. Find out who's moving up, who's moving out, and who's moving on towards a berth in a BCS bowl game. Get the numbers as soon as they break. The official BCS rating show, Sunday on FSN. Walk it out, Daddy. <laughs> Good boy. Come on, lead the pack. Hey, you need to walk. Get Come on up. Get up now. Yeah, Get girl. the dog on track. Aha. Show you right. Love that yeah. dog. There you go. Sees us Come. way. <laughs> the back leader is back, baby. All new episodes of The Dog Whisperer, every Friday night at 8. Only on the National Geographic Channel. They're loving it here in Lawrence, Kansas, 35-21, as the Jayhawks lead it by 14 with 8.30 to go in the second quarter. A sellout, homecoming crowd for the eighth-ranked team in the nation, the Kansas Jayhawks, but they're defense that was allowing 10 points a game it's given up 21 and we're midway through the second quarter both defenses are getting taken apart the offenses are getting every matchup that they want to get Webb kicks it off Andre Jones drops it picks it up Jones dances 15 and hit at the 17 yard line as 
Kansas makes the stop there. We'll see how Nebraska answers this time. The last two scoring drives, Dave, four plays at 61 yards in a minute seven for KU. The one prior to that was 80 yards, four plays in 50 seconds for Nebraska. I don't think any of these, uh, let's see, there have been eight touchdowns scored in this game. None of these touchdown drives have been more than seven or eight plays. There have been no double-digit play drives. But send it quickly down to Emily Jones with more Marcus Henry. Well, guys, Marcus Henry was voted by his teammates in the preseason as the player most likely to surprise. Coming into today, 32 catches, 585 yards, three touchdowns. You can add another one to that number. And also, his nickname is The Mute. They say he doesn't talk very much, but his actions definitely speak louder than any words could. Yeah, Emily, he's the coaches and players say he's got the best hands on the team. He's showing it. Big playmaker. He's got some height as well. I mean, a lot of big receivers in this game. Marcus Henry is six foot. Big guy, six foot four incher. How about the total offense, Dave? Nebraska has 196 yards of offense. Kansas has 298. Jeez. There's eight minutes and 17 seconds to go in the second quarter, folks. Second. Not the game. Second quarter. Second and ten for Nebraska from the 17. Expect the big play. Across the middle this time, and again, it is pure, no, not purified, beg your pardon, as the reception is made out near the 29 yard line. Harris makes the tackle on hold. First down markers brought to you by Overstock.com. Save up to 70% on name brand, brand name products. Live better with Overstock.com. It's all about the O. First and 10 at the 30 for the Huskers. How about this first start of the year for Joe Gaines? Play action. Throwing it here. Nearly picked off. Was that Holt that got a hand on it? Yes. James Holt in the linebacker spot moving back in that secondary. Oh, the pressure on Gaines didn't allow him to transfer his weight and throw the football. He had to throw off his back foot. As you can see, his pocket collapses in the middle. And look, he has to fall, throw falling away from the line of scrimmage. Can't transfer his weight and put any mustard on the throw. As a result, Holt taking his linebacker drop, reroutes the football, falling harmlessly behind Tlaib, his partner at corner. Gans is 7 of 17 for 189 yards. He's thrown two TD passes. He's run for another. And it's second and 10 for the Huskers at the 30. Out of the backfield, Lucky is tripped up here. At the 26, says Akib Talib. Read it well and stayed with it, made the stop. And no game. That's his eighth completion at Gans. Eight completions, so he's got 18 on the season, and he's got six touchdowns off of those 18 completions. So every third completion, He's getting a touchdown out of it. He had 10 completions, four touchdowns coming in. And now he's set up with a big third down after a loss of three on that last play. Third and 13. Gantz. Across the middle, nearly picked off by Tlaib. Intended for Hardy and Kansas will celebrate. They finally stopped Nebraska. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, it's rare that anybody punts the football. The punters today, it's going to be tough for them to earn a letter because both of these offenses are staying on the football field. When a defense finally gets off the field, they go celebrate. That's a rarity. Fourth and 13, and here is Titchener for the punt. Anthony Webb, the deep man at his own 33. Good clean kick. Webb. It's the fair catch at the 38-yard line, and Kansas up 35-21. We'll get the ball there. Back down to Emily Jones. Guys, today is a very special day in the college football world. It was November 6th, 1869, when the very first college football game was played. It was between Rutgers and Princeton. And the Cotton Bowl has teamed up with a number of organizations, including the Jimmy V Foundation for Cancer Research, to raise money for those efforts, uh, support college football, and celebrate this game, celebrate this day as it's close to the day that the first official game was played between Princeton and Rutgers. So we are excited to be 
a part of college football. This is the fourth annual event, uh, the fourth annual day that will be held, and um, a very special day. You want to know what the score was in that game, guys? How about it? Six to four. Check it out. Safe to say offenses have come a long way, including these two, huh? Man, and we had that before the band took the field today, I think, is the way these two have been putting it up, and uh, what a great day for college football it is here in Lawrence with hardly any wind. Temperatures supposed to reach up near 60 today. And it's second and 10 now for Kansas at the 38. And McAnderson toting it out near midfield stopped at the 49 yard line by T.R. Green, a senior from Omaha. Finally, somebody gassed somebody in the running game a little bit. Both these teams just throwing the football all over the football field, but this time uh, Kansas does a good job of creating a crease right up the middle for McAnderson to take advantage of. And How effective has the KU offense been? Well, they struggled to start the four yards, the punt, and then five drives, five scores. And I don't think in those five drives they ran 40 plays. I think no. in those five drives, they probably ran 32 plays, you know, for all those yards and scores. I mean, it has been quick strike for both these football teams. They had the one drive that McAnderson capped off 10 yards or 10 plays for 70 yards. That uh, was the first TD of the second quarter, made it 28 14. But everything else has been quick both ways. Mark Mangino got it going here offensively. As they do get the first down, you saw the indication it's on the 49. It's first to 10. Meyer is back in the lineup as a wide out, one of the trips on the left side. Now he sets up in the backfield. And a little option. And they toss Reesing to Meyer. And he is stopped near the 48 of Nebraska by Larry Asante. You mentioned you talk about Meyer. Yeah. He's playing more. Keep Tlaib, who's played both ways, playing less on offense. Well, they're going to motion him a little bit and run the option with him. You know, I mean, you got you got two quarterbacks. You got both both of them are athletes. That's part of the two quarterback package on the football field. You can run reverses, reverse passes, double pass, throwback pass, run the option. Pass. You can run all kinds of things. I mean, and and, and, and right now, you know, you have a situation where where. Uh, Warner, Ed Warner, you know, he doesn't have to use them all, but they're all in the playbook. Racing again, drills his receiver. This one to Derek Fine, a senior out of Salisaw, Oklahoma, on the Nebraska sideline, where Green makes the stop. Yeah, and Kerry Meyer last year threw for 1,193 yards and 13 touchdowns. So uh, he's certainly a, and got beat out by Reesing in the spring, and Reesing showing you why he won the job but don't take away from Meyer who is an excellent player and an excellent quarterback as well as now a wide receiver and running back and anything else they need. He's an athlete. He to this year is 15 of 19 15 out of 19 for 132 yards two touchdowns no interceptions. Third and less than a yard and if recent keeps and forges ahead down to the 38 that'll move the chains for KU is Todd Reesing. He throws Barry Turner. Ran the, ran the midline option and just ducked it right up inside of Barry Turner. Barry Turner didn't know, you know, whether to take the pitch, the quarterback, so ended up taking nothing. And, and he just turns right up inside of Barry Turner and, and, and picks up nice positive yards. You know, the left tackle, Anthony Collins, all the way over on the right side of the field, hustling downfield, trying to throw an extra block to spring his quarterback. That's good hustle from the big boy at 6'6", 310. Reesing three TD passes today. Hands this one off to McAnderson, who has scored two. And he is stopped at the 37 yard line. Octavian making the tackle. Now, Todd Reesing is a guy that was announced this week. He's one of the semi finalists, one of just 15 for the Davey O'Brien Award, along with three other Big 12 quarterbacks Bradford from Oklahoma, Harold from Texas Tech, and Chase Daniel from Missouri. Who thought that going into this season they didn't even know if Reesing would start leave alone have a chance to be a national award winner he finds Meyer 30 25 danced uh, on the boundary until he is forced out of bounds about the 23 yard line where Ben Eisenhart makes the tackle once again the, the, the uh, Kansas wide receivers blocking so well this time Briscoe and Fields on the perimeter doing a great job 
Watch when Meyer catches the football. Briscoe right there. Briscoe's block. Down the football field right there. You see Fields block. I mean, that's outstanding. You know, you get you get edge play like that that picks up extra yards. Receivers blocking for their teammate. Everybody's unselfish. Meyer and Briscoe to the left. They hand it off to McAnderson. A truck could have made it through that time. What a line explosion up front by the big fellas as McAnderson is brought down by Courtney Grixby at the 11 yard line. Warren is in a rhythm right now. Ran the option, getting stretched the field horizontally, ran the uh, ran the wide receiver screen, stretched the field horizontally, then he pounds it right up the middle. So and now he's got the defense spread out and then hammers him right up the gut. And where do you go with it? Well, Kansas is averaging 8.1 per play on offense. And the pitch to McAnderson, the five, and knocked out of bounds around the three yard line on a first and 10 that was at the 11. So they could get another first down without scoring. Murillo made the tackle. And really, Kansas is trying to eat some clock on this drive. And, uh, and and put points on the board to boot. But if they could hang 42 on Nebraska before the half would be just incredible. Well, Nebraska has seen its defense riddled throughout this season and they come in on a four game losing skid all conference action. Fields and Henry go wide right on a second and two at the three. And in the end zone incomplete trying to connect with fields. Nebraska coming off the loss to Texas 28 25 and Dave we all kind of wondered all right what will they have left because they led that game going in the fourth quarter it looked like they they had a great game plan and then it cratered a little bit and Texas finally got to get it going they come out strong here today but they're in trouble right now they did I mean they're, they're going to be a little mentally fragile a four game losing streak for the first time since 1961. That'll wear on you a little bit. Racing on the option. McAnderson can't quite squeeze into the end zone. So Nebraska trying to toughen up. Tier Green there. Now, did he get enough for the first down? Of course, is the big. And if he did, it looks like it's fourth down. They've got the fist up. Fourth and short. Do you kick the field goal or do you punch it in? And Mark Mangino is going to call timeout and talk about it, I believe. They're going to call time here for a spot. To uh, bring out the chains. Now, when, as he was stretching, his feet were already out of bounds. So when he stepped out of bounds, where was the football? His foot's out. Where was the football? And you know, his his, his body's out of bounds. So that it's definitely not a touchdown. The, the official spotted short of the first down. That's what they're going to be taking a look at. Mark Mangino wants to encourage replay officials to take a good look at it and see where McAnderson's foot was out of bounds and then draw a straight line down from the football to the playing field to see what spot it is on the field. Watch again McAnderson as he works his way to the sideline as he gets bounced out left foot is it he drags it out it's definitely not inside the pylon because he's already out of bounds but is it, is it before the first down mark and it is yep first down let me remind you again that not a touchdown because once he's out of bounds Dave mentioned you always look for the pylon yeah right. the ball touched the pylon but he is a ruled out of bounds but he got the first down so it's first and goal from the one yard line now. You say, can remind you that the replay officials, they're looking at every play. It's like they have their own personal TiVo, and if they need more time, they then call to stop it downstairs. No signal yet here. You know, it's almost like Kansas would really preferably take a couple three downs to score here, milk, milk some clock because Nebraska's scoring with regularity as well. So you want to you want to I'm not saying you don't take the touchdown if it's there but Nebraska with a pretty good charge right there. So Kansas has to line up and do it once again the clock ticking under three minutes. Yeah if you know you're going to get it you don't mind if it takes you three more snaps. <laughs> yeah but you got to get it. That's got the key. They're not worried about style here. They don't and they forge it in as Texas or the McAnderson takes it in and that is his third TD. And it's now 41 21. Wow. And this Kansas offense in high gear today and a depleted Nebraska defense. Uh, they've got injuries at the linebacker position that are that are hurting them. There's no doubt about it. 
but they're not getting off blocks like the Nebraska defenses of the past. I mean, Kansas is locking on them like they have Velcro on their hands. And the kick is good by Webb. And it is 42-21 with 2.43 to go in this first half of play. I remind you that a lot coming up on the Sonic Halftime Report. We'll have a chance to check in with John Radigan, Pat Jones, the coaches, Jackie Schill, Chris Sanders, Kansas State losing to Iowa State. We'll have some highlights of that as one of the top 25 look with more scores. Highlights all on the Sonic Halftime Report from our FSN studios. Right here, the unbeaten Kansas Jayhawks have finally doubled up Nebraska 42-21. You know, Bill, a big a thing in this football game, there have been no turnovers that I can recall. So both teams have taken uh, care of the football. And Nebraska, now in the last 17 quarters, have one takeaway. And that was on a zone blitz out of their big defensive end at six foot seven. Zach Potter had an interception against Texas. In 17 quarters, they have a mere one takeaway. And when, you're, when, when your defense is struggling, you have to have takeaways to get him off the football field. That guy's had a few takeaways. So something should be taken away from him. That's what I was going to say. Ah, oh, enjoying homecoming. Looks like go. he's experienced a few of those here at KU. He's only a freshman. <laughs> yeah. Mom, Dad, send meal money. Yeah. <laughs> Marvin Lucky, the deep man, and he'll let it go. It'll become out as a touchback first and 10 at the 20 yard line as Nebraska. Again, needing something here to give them a little momentum going into the locker room. Kansas, the most points in a half since scoring 49 on the first half against Toledo in 2004. You see the Huskers, 42 points allowed this half, and they're in danger if they have a three and out of giving KU a chance to better that mark. That game against Texas Tech was the game that, that Tech hung 70 on Nebraska. I mean, Kansas could uh, do the same thing this afternoon the way it's going. We'll see what Gans comes up with on a first and 10 from his 20. Drops it off to the safety man and takes it to the 25 yard line. Lucky. Holt makes the tackle. Lucky coming in with 55 receptions for 429 yards and had run for 832 yards. He's got one long TD reception here today. Pick it. Deflected and it is intercepted. There's that turnover. John Larson, the 250 pound senior. Larson comes up with a pick, and with 2.11 to go, KU will take over on the 19 yard line of Nebraska. That's the old turno turnover station that you go through. When a ball is airborne, when a de defensive lineman gets his hands up and deflects it, and it's done, it, it's deflected in there by the big fella, Blakesley, and then and then get after the football. Once Blakesley got it airborne, you know, now it's fair game. It's there for anybody. And, and Larson finishes it. That's just that's just outstanding effort right there. Larson's second interception of the year. Kansas first and ten from the 19. Henry goes wide right. Reesing with three TD passes today. McAnderson with three scores. And they fake it to McAnderson and Reesing in trouble. And he spins in his tackle hard near the 18 yard line. Picks up a yard. Zach uh, Potter makes the tackle. Junior from Omaha along with Zach Bowman, a senior out of Anchorage, Alaska. Yeah, that was the old high-low deal. Bowman went low, Potter went high. There's that turnover story for Nebraska coming in. And on the other side, Kansas is a plus 11, now plus, plus 12. 12 right. First in the Big 12, third in the nation. And I think if there's one stat that really means something, that is it. No doubt. When you, when you look at uh, Kansas's overall numbers, Reesing to throw it here. Got time and complete to find the tight end. Under Mark Mangino, when they're plus in the turnover department, they're 6-0 and this year, 16-8 and overall. When they're even, they're 2-0 and this year, 9-4 and overall. When they're minus, they haven't had that this year, but they're 8-23 and under Mark Mangino when they're minus. <laughs> Did you hear? The official said timeout. Correction. 
Correction. Kansas. Not Kansas State. <laughs> oh, boy. Time out, Kansas State. In Lawrence on KU's homecoming, no less. <laughs> That's a big old gap. Oh, boy. <laughs> and just you think it's about the time you think the fans may not be paying attention. Yeah. They're paying attention to those kind of things. College football Saturday triple header continues here on FSN. It's all presented by Kia Sarah. Ninth ranked Missouri would be battling Colorado tonight. And also Washington State taking on Cal. It starts 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific right here at FSN. Joe Myers, Gary Reasons, and Noxie out in the Rocky Mountains getting ready for that Big 12 North contest. Here is Reason to throw it and complete to Briscoe. Skips a tackler. He scores! Wow. Kansas another TD! Boy, he made Tyler Wartman miss. And when Tyler Wartman missed in space, he was gone to the house. Desmond Briscoe, his fifth touchdown of the year. And remember, that short field was provided by Larson on the tip ball interception. John Larson right there set up his teammate and, and finalizing Briscoe for the score. Make a miss. See you later. Get upfield. Pierce the end zone. And Kansas was still 116 to go in the first half. Webb had hit the upright. No good. So his first miss of the season for Scott Webb and it's 48 21 and it saves Nebraska an embarrassing mark as Briscoe gets his fifth TD reception of the year. Just kind of pushed this one out there a little bit and, and uh, it ricocheted not through ricocheted exactly sideways. The old doink off that right upright was not kind. And how about Todd Reesing four TD passes in the first half and he's now the all time single season TD passer in KU history. Well he, he throws a strike and Wortman right there overruns it and inside goes Briscoe and he's not going to be denied at about the four yard line Briscoe said I can do this I can score on this bad boy. So three plays 20 yards in 55 seconds after the interception by Larson. Re Reesing is completing five of every seven passes so far today. 20 of 28. That is just phenomenal. He's managing the game well, distributing the ball to all of his weapons. Everybody gets involved with Kansas. And, and Reesing is kind of like the conductor of the orchestra. He's the point guard of the basketball team. He's just distributing. He's doing a great job with it. I like your math, breaking it down in every aspect there, big fella. <laughs> Marlon Lucky, one of the deep men here for the Huskers as Webb boots this one. You know, he's irritated about that miss, so he knocks it all the way deep into the end zone. And Nebraska will get it first to 10 from the 20 yard line with 116 remaining in this incredible first half. And if you haven't been with us for all of it, Nebraska had the momentum early. They stopped Kansas, got a hand on a punt, and took a short drive, 46 yards. And then Meyer scored. Lucky scored for Nebraska, and they're up 14 7. And then Kansas got three straight TDs before Nebraska answered again. And then KU has controlled since then with three more touchdowns. They've scored touchdowns on seven straight possessions at the Jayhawks. Unbelievable. It's not so. First and 10. Gans delivers across midfield and it is complete and hit hard near the 40 yard line is purified to leave applies the hit. Purify knows he's going to get going to get hit in the middle of the football field. Protection has been pretty good most of the day because that's the only way Nebraska can move the football is to throw it and that puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line. They're doing a good job of keeping Gans clean. 20 yards on that pickup. Lucky out of the backfield. He scoots to the 45 yard line before he goes out of bounds to leave covering on that play. Bill Callahan must be thinking this is amazing. Uh, you know, you, you just you just can't anticipate all the things that have gone wrong from an adversity standpoint for Nebraska. An injury being one of them. Injury is no excuse, but you lose your quarterback, you lose your right guard, your right tackle, 
both your outside linebackers. I mean, it's just been Murphy's law for the Cornhuskers. Yeah, they were struggling when they were somewhat healthy, and now they are in huge trouble. Right down the middle, Peterson, and he takes it inside the 20, so Nebraska, well, they got all day. There's 46 seconds the way this one's been going. No question about it. And Two it, timeouts remaining. Tough Thornton can't quite get there. And that was just a great job of threading the needle by Joe Gans. I mean, he has great touch on this football, and he understands the geometry of the of throwing it down the middle of the football field. And, man, that's just a, an outstanding play on both both ends of it. 35 yards on the play across the middle again, and a nice pitch and catch there. As this time, Swift is the receiver, and they take it down inside the 10-yard line with 38 seconds to go, and they reset the chain, so the clock stops until they get things set there. Swift had a big game against Texas last week. Six catches, 112 yards. And he's, he's a big double move guy. Gans in trouble and pitches it out of the end zone. Stops the clock with 25 ticks to go. Pressure put on by Sadiq Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad was clipping at his heels, trying to take him down low around his feet, and, and Gans' feet are too quick. He is athletic now, and, and yep. I believe that he can run that 4 5 40. Well, Gans is 13 of 25 for 261 yards. <laughs> and you think, well, boy, Nebraska must be having a great half. Well, they are off 21 <laughs> points. You got to say the offense doing their job. You yeah. got to stop the other guy once in a while. They're on the verge of scoring again. Second. And goal from the 10. Swift in motion, flag thrown, hold everything. This was an early start by Nebraska. You don't want to take penalties in the red zone like they're about to, it looks like. Ball start, offense, number 70. That would be Matt Slauson. Big right guard. Look at that right tackle, big old number 72. Javario Burks is a true freshman. Six foot five inch, 320 pound, true freshman. 18 years old, that big boy. Got his first start against Texas last week when they decided to forget the red shirt. They needed him to play, and he played very well. Now, second and goal from the 15 after the penalty. 25 seconds to go. Nebraska still has two timeouts. Gans across the middle and incomplete. Boy, a bevy of uh, DBs back there for KU. Thornton among them covering. Yeah, he made a diving attempt at that football. You know, when you're in the red zone, the field constricts. The windows get smaller and they get tighter. Spots to, to get the football in there. And Thornton was upset. He thought he should have had that interception. And he had a good shot at it. There's no doubt. He sold out for it. Third and goal, 21 seconds remaining. Lucky the lone back behind Gans who goes under center. To Lucky, out of bounds with 16 seconds to go. I want to make sure they can get the field goal team out there to get points out of this drive. That's exactly what they're going to do. And you might be thinking, oh, you got to be kidding me. Why would they kick a field goal when they're down 27? Because we're still in the first half. Yeah, exactly. And Dave, at this point, you have no idea how this one's going to go, even though it looks pretty bleak for the Huskers. Well, and, and, and on your third down situation here, it's fourth down, I should say. Yeah. It's fourth and 10. I mean, that's not an easy call in the red zone. Henry, who's six of six, sets up here at the 12 for a 22 yarder, and it is good. So. Cut the lead. It's exactly in half. They got they're halfway there. They have to climb 24 more points just to tie Kansas. I mean, that's an unbelievable first half when you hang 24 on the board and all the yards they have, but they're only halfway home. So Henry with the I say 27 yard field goal. And now, as Dave mentioned, 48 to 24. And Kansas wouldn't dare score again, would they? This first half, Bill, is <laughs> taking about two hours to play. Each quarter, there has been, it's been like 
two games. Each quarter ends up being its own little game. It's incredible. Yeah, we in Lubbock, it's like it's a Texas Tech contest. Well, it is because Kansas runs the spread offense. I mean, they're similar to Texas Tech, the way they go out there and, and run their offense. And Nebraska's fallen behind so far, they have to abandon their ground game and throw it just to stay in the game. I mean, both these football teams are going to be throwing it almost every single down, it looks like. Well, and I say, could Kansas score again? Well, they've returned four kicks for touchdowns. Yeah. Two on the kickoff and two on the punt. And Herford, who is the top kickoff return man in the nation, is deep again. He stands at the five-yard line. So I doubt if Nebraska, well, you never know. They'll squib it. I'm sure they'll probably they keep it on the ground, yeah. As Kunalik now will do the honors from the 30. And boy, he kicked the line drive returnable. Right to him. Herford at the 12 and takes it out to the 38 yard line with five seconds to go. All the to the 38 yard line. And Kamek made the stop for Nebraska. You got an injured Nebraska a corn husker working his way off the football field. It's in not, not great shape. Looks Tenaris. like Tenaris, yeah. yeah. So he's being helped off. A 27 yard return that time by. Herford as Mark Mangino's unbeaten Jayhawks will have one play and looks like they'll just take an easy here it. with five seconds and that is it. So Mark, wow. Mark will be happy with his offense but he will have a lot to say to his defense at halftime in that locker room. As an impressive offensive show 48 24 Kansas let's send it down with coach Mangino as our Emily Jones. All right, I've got some problems with the mic. We apologize for those problems. And a Sonic halftime report is coming up as Kansas leads it here 48 24 at the break. Jayhawks over the Nebraska Cornhuskers in Big 12 football. Attention drivers statewide. If you are insured with Allstate, Geico, State Farm, or any other car insurer, you may be overpaying by hundreds of dollars. Find out how to get immediate savings through AIG Auto Insurance. What would it take to get you to switch your car insurance? If we told you that you could save $366 a year, wouldn't you pick up the phone? Start dialing, because you could save that much. People who switched from GEICO saved around $375. From Allstate, $443. Your savings could be higher, like this driver who switched, or this one. And no other company gives you AIG security advantage that helps keep you safe on the road and away from home. Immediate savings available through AIG Auto Insurance. Call for a free rate quote today. Call 1-800-511-1343 for a free rate quote. You could save hundreds of dollars. That number again is 1-800-511-1343. Call now or visit AIGauto.com. Remember last week when you hit Vinny in the head with the shovel? I do not recall that. It was too graphic for the kids, <laughs> so I'm going to have to block you. You know, i got to make this That's up. That's really not necessary. This is Vinny's watch. Fox College Sports has the recipe for the ultimate college reunion with over 100 live college football games. FCS is home to the Pac-10, an exclusive Big 12 football you won't find anywhere else. With news from around the NCAA, and the coaches' shows that break down all the big games. This is the place where college football never ends. To order Fox College Sports, call 1-877-2-GET-FCS. Anytime you make a choice about a relationship is a good time to stop and think about the decisions that impact your life. 
Find out more at fox.com slash pause. FSC is your premier destination for soccer with North America's number one highlighted news show exclusively devoted to the beautiful gay. Good evening and welcome to the Fox Soccer Report. Our team of hosts comes together each night to give you a daily dose of all the top soccer headlines. All the highlights, all the stories, and all the analysis. And expert analyst Bobby McMahon weighs in on the hot issues. The Liverpool should have got rid of him then. They would have got 10 to 12 million pounds from him. Fox Soccer Report, nightly, only on FSC. Check your local listings. Hi there, welcome into the FSN studios. This is your Sonic Halftime Report. John Radigan here with Pat Jones. You remember him as the head coach of the Oklahoma State Cowboys. He's now our college football analyst. And Pat, this is one of the oldest rivalries in the Big 12, formerly the Big 8. It has not been a good rivalry, though. Nebraska has beaten Kansas 37 of the last 38 times. That makes today even more surprising. Well, Johnny, you know, it's, it's nice to see Memorial Stadium in Lawrence full of people, full of Jayhawk people. Uh, they're playing well. Uh, they got a lot of things going on, and Kansas is pouring it on at this point. Yeah, and back in the day, you remember, I remember when this was just an opportunity for Nebraska fans who couldn't get a ticket in Lincoln to go not too far to Kansas and watch their, their Huskers play. Half the stadium would be red. You're exactly right, John. Yeah, so that is uh, not the case this year. It is Kansas way out in front of Nebraska right now elsewhere in the Big 12 today. Gene Chiswick's Iowa State Cyclones have not yet won a Big 12 game. We're in the first quarter when Brett Meyer a little play action, and he finds a wide open Derek Catlap for the one-yard touchdown, 7-0 Iowa State. Later on, it's Alexander Robinson right up the middle. That's a three-yard run. That's a 14-0 Iowa State lead. Second quarter, Robinson at it again. This time, Robinson with the pitch and makes it good for a two-yard touchdown run. 21-10, Iowa State had the lead in this game at halftime. Currently, Iowa State still on top, but they better keep playing because Kansas State is coming on. It is now 21-10 in the third quarter of that football game. Others in the Big 12 today, Texas Tech is at Baylor. The Red Raiders trying to get rid of that two-game losing streak. Baylor still trying to get a victory in conference play. Texas at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State has has been outscored by the Longhorns 134 to 7 in the last four years in that rivalry. Missouri at Colorado, that is a battle for second place, I guess you'd say, in the Big 12 North. And Texas A&M is at Oklahoma. Both Oklahoma and Oklahoma State have had a bye week, so they should be ready and ready to go. Can Ohio State avoid a three-game losing streak to Wisconsin? We check it out as we take a look at some of the highlights around the top 25 when we roll on from the FSN studios at the Sonic Halftime Report. Things down, Miss Clara, because I'm gonna kiss you. and foes battle it out and the winner takes all literally you lose this race you lose your ride right right pinks only on speed camera four can you let me see the jr in the set please okay everybody let's get ready gentlemen start Georgia. We're in Talladega. Daytona. Vegas, baby. <laughs> 36 weekends a year. It's really exciting that Speed's going to cover all the action all weekend long. 
coast to coast. We'll see if anyone can hang on. North to south. The Truck Series, week in, week out, the best race in heaven. Speed takes you there. I've never been upside down in my career before. Put the door, Friday night hey. party. Are you ready for racing? I'm ready for racing. Fox College Sports has the recipe for the ultimate college reunion with over 100 live college football games. FCS is home to the Pac-10, an exclusive Big 12 football you won't find anywhere else. With news from around the NCAA and the coaches' shows that break down all the big games. This is the place where college football never ends. To order Fox College Sports, call 1-877-2-GET-FCS. This week on Fox NFL Sunday, Frank's Week 9 Picks and the Grumpy Old Coaches. Then, you'll see Brett Favre and the Packers taking on Larry Johnson and the Chiefs. Or Clinton Portis and the Redskins battling the Jets. It's another slate of great NFL action this week on Fox NFL Sunday. Back number one, Ohio State hosting Wisconsin. The Buckeyes looking for their 20th straight conference win. No Big Ten team has ever won 20 in a row. Third quarter, 10-3 Ohio State. Tyler Donovan scrambling and finds Travis Beckham. That's a 28-yard diving touchdown, and it's a 10-10 game. Wisconsin making a game of a third quarter. We've got a third and goal, and it is Donovan again. This time to Chris Presley. He's open in the end zone. The Badgers take the lead. It is 17 to 10. Ohio State on their heels. They respond though with a Chris Wells touchdown. Look at him go. 31 yards for a touchdown. That makes it 17 all and Wells wasn't done yet. Early in the fourth quarter, it's Wells with a great block and then a great move and then a great run. 30 yards for a touchdown. 24-17 right now, we're in the fourth quarter, and Ohio State has the lead on Wisconsin. Georgia and Troy meet for the first time ever. Bulldogs 19-0 under Mark Rick against non-conference opponents at home. But Troy is up 3-0 when no Sean Moreno is all over Florida last week. Had 188 yards a week ago, 80 on this run here. It goes all the way to the house, and it's 7-3. Georgia's in front. Gerald Jernigan with the uh, wide receiver screen here, and he takes it 33 yards to the house to give Troy, actually takes a 10-7 lead at that point. Right now it is 17-10. Georgia has taken the lead, and the Bulldogs now in front. Tonight on FSN, lots more college football. It's a triple header Saturday right here on FSN. Missouri, Colorado for many of you, although those in the FSN West area, FSN Arizona, and the Oregon portion of FSN Northwest will see number four, Arizona State at number five, Oregon. That is a great matchup. We try to give all of our viewers the game they most want to see. Those viewers will not see that Missouri, Colorado game. Everybody will see the nightcap though. Washington State against California, that one is the nightcap of our triple header. Missouri and Colorado coming up in the Missouri Tigers with a 7-1 record, looking for their first win at Colorado since 97. Colorado has won the last four games against Missouri, averaging 36 and a half points per game in the process. That's number two against any other team that they would face. But Pat Jones, this is a pretty good uh, matchup tonight. I guarantee you. Uh, Hugh Charles, the Colorado running back, has had five games of over 100 yards rushing. Cody Hawkins, the young quarterback, is having an awfully nice year. This is a very credible Colorado team, as we saw when they beat OU and when they beat Tech decisively last week. More highlights, more scores coming your way. The Sonic Halftime Report rolling on. Struggling with credit card debt? Is it difficult just making your minimum payments? Tired of the harassing calls? If you're in substantial credit card debt and need help, call now and settle your accounts for less than you owe. Call the Hermosa Group today to find out how you can quickly and easily eliminate your debt for less than you owe. Life can be better. 
Call the Hermosa Group now. Get a low monthly payment that fits your budget. Call now. Every night, there's just one place to be. The best damn sports show, period. Come on in and be our guest for Sports Television's Nightly Party. The world's greatest late night sports show is just getting started. The best damn sports show, period. Weeknights on FSN. Friday night at 8. Only on the National Geographic Channel. Fox College Sports has the recipe for the ultimate college reunion with over 100 live college football games. FCS is home to the Pac-10, an exclusive Big 12 football you won't find anywhere else. With news from around the NCAA and the coaches shows that break down all the big games. This is the place where college football never ends. To order Fox College Sports, call 1-877-2-GET-FCS. Every week, some will rise, some will fall, and some will take the next step on the road to the BCS. Unbelievable! BCS Breakdown on FSN with previews of Saturday's biggest matchups and detailed analysis of the national championship picture. BCS Breakdown, Friday on FSN. Kansas has its best scoring half since 2004 and will try to keep the pedal to the metal against Nebraska in the second half. Sonic Halftime Report continues and here's Wake Forest in Virginia, a couple of top 25. Gets more. And after an early Wakefield goal, it's Virginia's Josh Seidenberg who fields it at the oh, one and rips off a 54-yard return. That would set up a field goal. Special teams looking pretty good there, but not so good here when Wake's Alfonso Smith blocks the Cavalier punt attempt. That, too, would result in a field goal. Ball offense is struggling until Virginia's Jamil Sewell hits Maurice Covington. He breaks free. 39-yard touchdown with 10 seconds remaining in the half. 10-6 Virginia with the victory. After the game, we've got the Big 12 postgame show. Pat's here. Chris Sanders joins us. Jackie Sherrill will be in the coach's corner. Can Nebraska avoid its first five-game losing streak since the early 60s? We'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our meeting. Where I'd like to start. Oh, with Hi, could I get a cheeseburger, some curly fries, and a medium? Get some glasses. Our fries don't curl. Hey, happy socks. Call out a hedge. You don't do it anywhere else, so why do it at the game? Be a good sport. Brought to you by the Big 12 Conference of NCAA Football. Brick by brick, stone by stone, we built a place to call our own. Gonna fill it up with laughter, ride my time in my life I'm holding the key to a brand new life waiting on me that's what makes a house a home. across the country and around the world thousands of habitat homeowners and millions of volunteers know the joy and pride of seeing a house become a home a brighter future one family at a time support habitats work in your community volunteer get involved and help build it 
visit Habitat.org. That's what makes a house a home. Every game, every score, every highlight. It's the FSN Final Score. 30 minutes every night of the week. Bringing you all the action from the world of sports. It's the one show where serious sports fans go for serious sports highlights. The FSN Final Score, presented by DirecTV. Camera four, can you let me see the JR is set. Okay, everybody, let's get ready. Gentlemen, start. We are ready. Yeah. NASCAR on speed. We go to Loudoun, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia. We're in Talladega. Daytona. Vegas, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Six weekends a year. It's really exciting that Speed's going to cover all the action all weekend long. Coast to coast. We'll see if anyone can hang on. North to south. The Truck Series, week in, week out, the best race in heaven. Speed takes you there. I've never been upside down in my career before. Welcome to our Friday night hey. party. Are you ready for racing? I'm ready for racing. Remember last week when you hit Vinny in the head with the shovel? I do not recall that. It was too graphic for the kids, <laughs> so I'm going to have to block you. You know, i got to make this That's up. That's really not necessary. This is Vinny's watch. Welcome back to the University of Kansas in Lawrence, Kansas, on a beautiful fall Saturday. Homecoming at KU, and the Jayhawks have responded as they have this one well in hand at the half. Welcome, folks. Bill Land along with Dave Lapham. And all kinds of offense to talk about. 665 yards of total offense as we take a look at our Polaris stats. Dave. It's incredible. It was a clinic, an offensive clinic. Not much of a defensive clinic in the first half. I'm going to take a look at our halftime statistics right here and see what we've got going for you. And it, it, it's amazing. You know, Kansas, they had no penalties in the first half, no turnovers. Nebraska had one that ended up being costly. But look at these numbers. They're mind-boggling. Yards per play. Both schools over seven yards per play explosive plays plays over 20 yards there were 10 of those I mean both quarterbacks were phenomenal Reesing 20 of 28 for 273 yards uh, Gans in his first start 14 to 28 for 266 yards he threw two touchdowns Reesing threw four Kansas tried to stay balanced Kansas uh, run, ran the ball 24 times and threw it 28 Boy, I tell you, in the red zone, both teams just absolutely controlled the action. It was a sheer offensive clinic in the first half, no doubt about it. All right, let's set it down now to Emily Jones. All right, guys, well, I spoke with Nebraska head coach Bill Callahan as he came out of the locker room. I asked him about what he said to his team at the half. He said, I told him to keep fighting. Obviously, we've got some things to correct on the defensive side of the ball, stop the big play. But if we can come out here and get seven on our first possession, then come up with a turnover or a three and out and get a score after that, it's a whole new ball game. He said, we put up 24 points on a darn good defense. I don't know if that's been done all season. Of course, it hasn't on Kansas, but he said there's still a lot of fight left in this team. All right. Thanks very much, Emily. And uh, yeah, if you're Bill Callahan, you're going over there that, boy, if we we need a turnover if you're Nebraska is what you got to be saying. You're, you're going to have to come up with, they had that block punt and they responded and got a touchdown out of it, but they're going to have to get an easy score or two, I think, Dave, to have a shot against the eighth rank Hawks. In uh, 17 quarters now, they have one takeaway. And when your defense is struggling, you have to take it away more than that. Lucky returned the kick. Kansas puts on the pressure on first and 10. And Caleb Blakesley, 6'5", 290, a sophomore from nearby Ottawa, Kansas, comes into Barry Gans. And Kansas at this point with a 24-point lead. First two possessions of the, of the second half are critical. If they can get after Nebraska like they did on that pass rush right there and, and choke Nebraska's offense down and make it a three and out, and their offense take control and go on a ball control, and take some time off the clock, and, and, and really they could do some damage to Nebraska right away in the third quarter. 
Lucky the only back next to Gans on a second and 17 after that sack that cost him seven yards. Here is Gans. Got time. Got a man incomplete. It closed quickly there on the receiver, number 86, Sean Hill, a senior from Naperville, Illinois, in the Chicago suburbs. Rivera was covering. And how about the Stars? Well, there was a bunch of them in the first half here. If you take a look at Reesing, four touchdown passes, and Reesing with 21 in the year at KU Newmark. McAnderson, three scoring on the ground. Joe Gans, well, and Gans today getting his first start. Those are pretty good, Dave. Heck yeah, those are good numbers. <laughs> I mean, that dog will definitely hunt. But, you know, the, his defense can't do anything to stop his compatriot, or his counterpart, I should say, Reesing in their offense at Kansas. Third and 17, and Gans delivers a strike across the middle. Peterson to the 39-yard line, and Stuckey made the tackle. Gans has shown great composure and poise in the pocket. He's taking some hits today. This time his offensive line doing a good job. They're doubling McClinton in the middle. They're not going to let him beat him in the pass rush. And, uh, that ball almost slipped through the hands, but did a good job. Peterson did a recovering and, and corralling that football. A beautiful throw by Gans. And Gans uh, kind of figures in this Murphy's Law season for Nebraska that his only pick today set up a KU easy score. And what a grab by Nate Swift on this pass down to the 35 yard line. He knew he was going to get lit up by Resby and he still caught the football. And if you thought Nebraska was throwing in the towel at the half, think twice. And watch Swift in the in the slot in the middle just runs down the football field and takes the hit, but still keeps on picking. Swift last year, two TDs on 22 receptions for 374 yards. He came in today with three scores and 29 grabs. He's had four career 100-yard games. And it's first and 10 right here. Gantz keeping the football, and KU trying to stay up with him. He sheds tacklers and may have another first down as Mike Rivera makes the tackle at the 25. Depending on the spot, it'll be a first and ten. And Nebraska saying just the opposite of what Kansas said. If, you know, the one, two, three and out or a defensive stop. Nebraska saying, look, immediately we have to claw into this 24-point deficit. We have to make this a one-score game somehow. The only way we can do it is put points on the board offensively and hope our defense can make some adjustments and slow Kansas down. This is definitely as big a track meet as I've seen in a long time. Well, and and particularly with Kansas defense uh, being so strong and coming in here today, and it is a first down. The story, I think, Dave, everyone thought, well, all right, Kansas, everybody the last three weeks has mauled Nebraska yeah. with the running game. Right. And Kansas has done it in any way they've wanted, but Kansas, the defensive team, has had their own share of problems stopping folks today. And, and really, uh, Nebraska's done a decent job against Kansas' running game. 24 carries, 106 yards. And they, they really batten down the hatches decently, but they can't stop Kansas' passing attack at all. They've been giving up the last three games 346 yards a game on the ground. Here is Lucky out of the backfield. He breaks a tackle and takes it down inside the 15, and it may be another first down. As about 10, Akeem Talib makes the stop. And Holt had a shot at Lucky, but couldn't hang on. And shows you why Marlon Lucky's got such good numbers. Yeah, and, and Lucky, he, he, can, he lines up anywhere, and he checks down, makes himself an available target. You can understand why they want to get the ball in his hands as much as they possibly can. Lucky, very, very solid runner and a great receiver. A junior out of North Hollywood, California, ran for 111 last week against Texas, caught six for 41 more yards, and it's second and one here, and a time called. Kansas. by Kansas so uh, Mark Mangino saying let's not go any further let's let's see if we can straighten this out we'll take a brief break as well you're watching it on FSN Big 12 football eighth ranked Jayhawks lead at 48-24. Wouldn't it be great if you could carry all your favorite family photos with you in an album that's the size of a credit card? Well, now you can. Introducing Wallet Picks, the world's thinnest digital photo album that lets you carry all your favorite photos right in your pocket. Look, it's the size of a credit card, yet it holds over 50 of your favorite photos. Perfect for carrying your favorite family and vacation photos, special occasion shots, pictures of your children or grandchildren. Just think, over 50 of your favorite photos right 
right here in this pocket-sized digital photo album. That's easy to take with you. There's even a built-in stand and a slideshow feature that changes the photos automatically so you can proudly display your photos. Or fill one with all your favorite photos and send it off to someone special for the gift that everyone will enjoy. So why leave all your favorite photos at home when now it's easy to take them with you with Wallet Picks for just two easy payments of $19.99. You'll also receive the USB cable for downloading your photos and our deluxe carrying case, a $30 value, yours free. But call right now and we'll double the offer and give you two Wallet Picks digital albums, two carrying cases, two USB cables, and and our 60-day money-back guarantee, all for just two payments of $19.99, but you have to call now. To order wallet picks, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-208-6949. That's 1-800-208-6949. Call now. The Dr. Pepper Big 12 football game of the week on FSN is brought to you by Sport Clips, where guys win. By Valero, the energy to take you anywhere. By Principal Financial Group, we'll give you an edge. And the first down marker is brought to you by Overstock.com. Save up to 70% on brand name products. Live better with Overstock.com. It's all about the O. Nebraska Zo facing a second and one. The ball on the 15 of Kansas, the opening drive of the second half here in Lawrence with the Jayhawks leading 48-24. Marlon Lucky lines up behind the quarterback Joe Gans getting his first start in place of the injured Sam Keller who was out for the season with a broken collarbone that he suffered in the Texas game. Lucky on the pitch. KU corrals him, keeps him in bounds as well near the 15-yard line. And remember, Lucky can throw the football when they run that play. He has a 20-yard touchdown pass this season, and he's got another touchdown pass during the course of his career as well. So he's an all-purpose guy, can do it all, a very complete running back. Kansas did a good job of playing their gap responsibilities, staying on their feet, and pursuing to the football. They had a bunch of bodies around Lucky that time. But he did get enough for the first down, which was the purpose of that carry. And... As a result, first and 10 at the 15 yard line. Peterson goes wide to the right side. Lucky stays in the backfield. Swift wide left. And a stoppage again. Timeout, Nebraska. So now Nebraska. Timeout, Nebraska. That's their first timeout. So certainly a little unusual with both teams taking timeouts in the first five minutes of play here in the second half. And Certainly for Bill Callahan, you've got to be thinking, well, we we've got a score, and this is as important right now as any play in the game because it may not we may not need them if we don't get one here. Well, I think both both uh, coaches have called timeouts because adjustments made at halftime. They're having a hard time figuring out how to match up like they were so successfully doing in the first half. I want to remind you tomorrow night to be there live for the first show that breaks down the new BCS standings, the official BCS rating show. It's exclusively on FSM. Find out who's moving up, who's moving out, and who's moving on towards a birth in the BCS bowl game. The official BCS rating show tomorrow at 10.30 p.m. only on FSN. And let me remind you, Kansas at number eight in those ratings, Missouri number nine, Oklahoma number six, and Texas number 15, and Oklahoma Texas playing later tonight. Oklahoma against Texas A&M. Texas and Stillwater to face Oklahoma State. Gans rolling out. Still moving. Dumps it. And it is incomplete because he was still juggling the football. That was Sean Hill. Couldn't find the handle while he was in the end zone. Gans did everything he could to extend that play. Man, he just, he, he stayed after it, it stayed he? after it, stayed after it. And, and he should have been rewarded with a touchdown. I mean, he, he threw a perfect ball for Hill, and Hill could not, never corral it. But Gantz rolling to his left, squares his shoulder pads up, and, and he just shot puts a little easy one, a little bit behind, but still catchable football. Gantz a little disappointed, because that one should have been six, and it wasn't. 
So it's second and 10, the ball on the 15-yard line now. Again, lucky, Malone back with Gans there. They come after Gans, he fires, and it is complete. Touchdown! Purify an absolute sensational grab, and Gans a gutsy throw because he got rocked. Yes, he did. There was an unimpeded run free to the quarterback, and one-handed catch by Purify. One-handed catch with that big right mucker. Unbelievable play for him to be able to secure this football like he did. And he's again working against the best that the conference has to offer and to lead. So the 15 yard TD pass to Purify, his second score today. Henry on for the point after. And it is good. So Nebraska wins this opening possession battle. Gets another TD and it's 48 31. Nine plays, 78 yards. All right, today we're going to start with 12 BCS game appearances, add eight Final Fours, 276 academic All-Americans, and 385 NCAA championships. That's an important ingredient. Mix that all together. Oh, that is going to be so good. And we'll put it in the oven for about 12 years. And voila, the Big 12 Conference, celebrating 12 big years. Who wants some of that? This is a message from the Fuel TV Broadcasting System. Not a real emergency. You should immediately log on to www.fuel.tv. It's Fuel TV's new website. That's www.fuel.tv. Put them things down, Miss Clara, because I'm going to kiss you. down the new BCS standings. The official BCS rating show, exclusively on FSN. Find out who's moving up, who's moving out, and who's moving on towards a berth in a BCS bowl game. Get the numbers as soon as they break. The official BCS rating show, Sunday on FSN. and foes battle it out and the winner takes all, literally. You lose this race, you lose your ride. Right, right. Pigs, only on speed. The best damn sports show, period. Weeknights on FSN. Football Saturday. Nebraska scoring first to start the second half, but they still trail by 17 as Purify. Great grab and our Toyo Tires scoring drive. Nine plays, 78 yards. And the first half of what Bill Callahan wished for a touchdown is good, as now he hopes for a three and out against this Kansas high flying offense. Jake West will kick it off this time. West to kick it off. Saw Herford, the deep man, and he will get it about the eight yard line. Up the middle, at the 30, got a little wall, 40, 50, and scampers out of bounds. This guy is absolutely amazing. He's been averaging 31 per return, and Herford gives KU great field position, and the first to 10 at the 44 yard line of Nebraska. Man, that's just that's just a dagger to the heart. Look at that. Three and out to start the game for Kansas. Three and out. And then seven straight touchdowns. Unbelievable. 
seven straight scores and they have a short field courtesy Herford to start the second half and uh, man I, Herford's got vision and patience in that return game just like a great running back racing 20 of 28 for 273 in the first half add a few more here as he completes this one to Dexton Fields Reese with four TD passes in the first half Tier Green makes the tackle on the play. McAnderson was their leading rusher in the first half with 13 carries for 48 yards and three scores. And their receivers Henry Fields Meyer and Fine all had four first half receptions. Sharp and McAnderson both in the backfield now on a second and eight. McAnderson gets the carry and says come along for the ride as Octavian does and finally wrestles him down near the 35 yard line just shy of the first down. And again in an effort to be balanced Kansas comes out and throws on first down. They don't pick much up. They run the ball at second down. So second and long it's contrarian to run it. First and ten contrarian a little bit to throw it although it's 50 50 there. And they tried to be balanced in the first half. They ran it 24 times through it 28. They were much more successful with their play selection though and throwing the football. On the year they run for 215. They pass for 264. You think they would like to run it a little bit more just to keep it away from Nebraska since their defense is struggling a bit today. Sharp on the wide run and beats a rock out there but does get the first down as Grixby makes the tackle at the 31 make a 36 yard line I should say sharp does have acceleration he gets from zero to top end speed pretty darn quickly and he runs that 4 4 40 and Kansas they, they're starting to accumulate some athletes I mean they've done a good job of recruiting character players but they're starting to get players not only with character but with good physical abilities. First and 10 at the 31 and sharp another one a little power as well as he takes it to the 26 yard line and Asante makes the tackle and first down markers brought to you by overstock.com with the convenience of shopping at home you can save up to 70 percent on amazing deals from overstock.com it's all about the O. Kansas though has been absolutely unstoppable for Nebraska today second and six now Huskers trailing 48 31 McAnderson it's a strong run for a couple Zach Potter makes the tackle you know you look at the, the guys up front for the Jayhawks they have a walk on at left guard Adrian Mays who Number 66 in the blue jersey came in and they really weren't paying him much of attention. They gave him a helmet and some shoulder pads and he just kept working and working. And he started working against McClinton, who's an All American candidate defensive tackle, get better and better. They scholarship him in the summer. He's starting at left guard. They have at the right guard position Chet Hartley, a junior college guy. First down, go ahead there, Dave. Excellent newcomer. So it's it's kind of a mix of guys, you know. Anthony Collins, a, a prize recruit that's uh, panned out for the left tackle position. And they, they're getting it done by different methods and means, but that's just a, a big old scrum of bodies bouncing it to the outside, and that's the vision we're talking about with McAnderson. It, he just saw a big conglomeration of bodies, nowhere to go. Bounce it. Keep your feet going. As a result, first and ten at the twenty. 8:30 and ticking here third quarter action Kansas its first possession of the second half and complete and going out of bounds is Marcus Henry at the 14 yard line you know, we talk about recruiting Dave and, and you can make what you want of recruiting services but one of the services rated Nebraska from 05 to 07 recruiting classes as having three five star the top level recruits 26 four star recruits Kansas having none right and it, it is absolutely amazing what they have done and as you mentioned they're getting better and better players but this team is so solid in so many phases and they don't have any bad guys no they have good character guys and they're coachable Reesing in the end zone touchdown Kansas what a strike again for KU and this one's Briscoe again and Reesing now with five TD passes and talk about another newcomer Briscoe is a freshman a true freshman 6 3 200 pounder that's his uh, fifth touchdown reception of the season no that's he got that's a second today that's his sixth touchdown yeah. reception of the season this kid's a true freshman so I mean the future does burn bright and they have found some guys that kind of overlooked 
and, and Mark Mangino and staff has recruited those guys and developed them to good football players. And the kick is good by Webb as Briscoe, who played on a state title team in Dallas at Cedar Hill, and uh, the team was loaded with talent. And he's showing you he's got plenty of it here. Touchdown, Kansas. Brick by brick. Stone by stone, we built a place to call our own. Gonna fill it up with laughter, ride my happy ever after. Cause for the first time in my life, I'm holding the key to a brand new life waiting on me. That's what makes a happy. Across the country and around the world, thousands of Habitat homeowners and millions of volunteers know the joy and pride of seeing a house become a home. A brighter future, one family at a time. Support Habitat's work in your community. Volunteer, get involved, and help build it. Visit Habitat.org. That's what makes a house a home. Fox College Sports has the recipe for the ultimate college reunion with over 100 live college football games. FCS is home to the Pac-10, an exclusive Big 12 football you won't find anywhere else. With news from around the NCAA and the coaches shows that break down all the big games. This is the place where college football never ends. To order Fox College Sports, call 1-877-2-GET-FCS. Basketball snaps into focus. Chase Budinger and the Arizona Wildcats have their sights set on making some noise in the desert. But Sean Singletary and the Virginia Cavaliers are ready to prove they belong with the nation's elite. College basketball presented by KFC, November 17th on FSN. Briscoe's second touchdown of the day in Kansas. Now at 55. Nebraska 31 and Reesing tying a school record that's set by Ralph Miller back in 1938 with his fifth touchdown pass of the day. And Reesing, he had had an interception counting today in the last four games. It's amazing. It's as much prior to today as what he hasn't done. He doesn't make mistakes. No penalties, no turnovers today by the Jayhawks. That's playing smart football. Grixby moves up to about the 11, dribbles it. Now it brings it back. 20, 25, and brought down near the 30. We'll check in with John Radigan on Dr. Pepper game break. Bill, thank you. Ohio State is putting the pedal to the metal, and it's Chris Wells doing most of the damage. Here he is with his third touchdown run of the day. A 23-yarder makes it 38-17. How about Wells? 21 carries, 169 yards, and three TDs. Ohio State looking to go 10-0, Bill. Thank you, John. Yeah, well, it could be interesting. The Buckeyes could be coming down to a big battle once again with Michigan, which wouldn't surprise most people if you didn't witness the first three weeks of this season. <laughs> As uh, here, it's Nebraska oh. trying to come back and nearly picked off in the secondary. Revere and Mortens have put the pressure on Gans and Holt down there nearly breaking it up, or nearly picking it off, I should say. Here's your BCS standings. Ohio State rolling toward another win. There's five unbeatens. Kansas, the only one from the Big 12, but three Big 12 teams in the top nine of the BCS. And if you're hoping for a Big 12 team to get into that title game, you hope for Kansas to continue unbeaten and Oklahoma to win out, and they would meet in the championship game in right. San Antonio. That would give the league the best opportunity to have a team in the title game. Second and 10, the ball on the 28. And, and, and jumping a, a little bit early is left guard Jacob Hickman. That's going to be a false start on him. Looked like he moved and drew the defensive lineman. But he's pleading his case. And I don't think to with much success. Offside. I guess it was defense successful. with contact. Number 93. Second down. McClinton said, I was drawn. 
He lost his plea. Well, they've been excited about this guy's play. The senior from Garland, Texas, in the Dallas suburbs, Lakeview Centennial High School, nine and a half tackles for loss coming in. And he was a second team all conference player last year with six sacks, and he has just been a stud all year for that Jayhawk defense. He's the only senior on the two deep. On That's the two right. deep. <laughs> Not just the starting on the two deep. And Bill Young earlier in the week was saying, you know, hindsight's always 20-20, but I I was thinking about red shirt and I wished I would have because I'd have everybody back next year. Second down and five. Incomplete. And the sideline look that time. Intended for none. Let's send it down to Emily with more on McClinton. Well, guys, you're talking about James McClinton drawing that flag just there. Defensive coordinator Bill Young said he is the quintessential overachiever. He loves his aggressiveness. He's quick off the ball. He did say, though, maybe a little too quick because he has gotten a couple of offsides penalties. But he does love the aggressiveness. And he, he is the leader, unquestioned leader of that defense on and off the football field. They rally around that big boy. Third and five and see if Kansas can slow down Nebraska. Huskers at the 33. Gans changing the play. Play clock at four. Gets it off in plenty of time. Dumps it across the middle and it's complete. And a first down, I think. Yeah, I think he got past the marker there. Peterson's topped by Wheeler and Laptad. Nice job by Gans making a very accurate throw once again. And it's a wide receiver knowing he's going to take contact, running that shallow cross, making the first miss. McClinton was in the zone blitz. They were running that nickel defense with a blitz linebacker to drop defensive lineman out. The big boy McClinton was trying to make a drop, not quite deep enough. Peterson, the junior wideout from Grand Island, Nebraska, moves the change. First and ten. They go deep this time, and it is incomplete. Harper down covering that time on Franz Hardy. One turnover today, an interception by the D lineman, John Larson. Otherwise, Gans has had quite an afternoon as Gans today is now 19 of 37 for 345 yards and three scores. Reesing is thrown for 23 of 31 for 295 and a record setting or record tying five scores. I think McClinton's offside penalty was the first penalty on Kansas on the day, and they still have not turned the football over. Second and 10 from the 39. Gans. And Lucky. Incomplete. Rivera covering. Lucky looks back at him. That was a little hot. Didn't have to make it that hot. And every single down, being down by 24 points, Nebraska is going to fire and fall back. Bill Callahan isn't even thinking about the running game. And here he faces the third and long. And this is where Bill Young comes with that very, very multiple look nickel defense. Third and 10 at the 39. Four wide outs. And are showing blitz. And they come after it. Gans over the middle, picked off by KU. Stucky to the 40. Makes lucky miss and is tackled inside the 25. Daryl Stucky, a sophomore from Kansas City, as Carl Nix makes the tackle. Carl Nix bulldog the steer right there. Big old Carl Nix took him down, but that's uh, unfortunate for Joe Gans overthrew that football. And Stuckey made him pay. Stuckey's second interception and the second turnover of the day for Nebraska. Playing uh, deep cover two or cover one uh, with a safety in the middle back there all by his lonesome. And, and he's uh, just reading the quarterback and the ball's overthrown. And there's the finish of it as Carl Nick says, nowhere further for you, Mr. Stuckey. I'm going to stick you and take you to the turf. First and 10 on the 23. KU flipping it nearly caught but he didn't have possession as the ball or as he went out of bounds Dexon Fields a receiver pretty good coverage by Nebraska as, as uh, Grigsby you know get his hand down in there in front and tried to rake at the football and disrupted the timing of that 714 to go in the third 55 31 Kansas and the Jayhawks want more. 
Four wide outs for Reesing and crew. McAnderson stays in to block across the middle, and it is complete down inside the five-yard line as Dexton Fields, whether Henry, I beg your pardon, Marcus Henry with the reception, and KU will have a first and goal. Well, and, and Nebraska getting beaten off the line of scrimmage, giving the inside up once again. And this receiver makes a great play for his quarterback because that was not the most accurate throw right there by reaching through it behind him. And Henry still made an unbelievable play on the football. Great adjustment and showing flexibility. McAnderson, flag stops play. Little false start by the blue up front. And Coach Mangino doesn't like that, taking a penalty in the red zone. Randy Crystal. Full start. Offense. The whole line was moving. Center didn't <laughs> snap the ball. Yeah, center forgot the snap count. When that happens, the whole line moves, the center holds the ball. He forgot the snap count. You can't have the center or quarterback forget the snap count. Everybody's moving except the center. It's not snapping the football. Everybody, the count was one. He thought it was two. Everybody moves. The ball's not moving. That's a problem. That Houston, lets the, that lets the head coach know exactly who the culprit is, too. Yeah. Whole line was moving, but that wasn't their fault. No, no, no. Now first and goal from the eight after the penalty, and McAnderson, looking for his fourth score of the day, is brought down. Maybe no game. We'll see what they mark it as. Zach Potter makes the stop. And every single time Kansas has penetrated the red zone, they pounded them in for a touchdown today. Will they do it again? The unbeaten Jayhawks, 8 0. First 8 0 start since 1909. And looking for number nine here today. And up 55 to 31. Second and goal from the seven. Reesing all day. Now flushed out a bit. And incomplete. Trying to connect with Henry again. And getting there was Grixby to interrupt the play. And it'll be third and goal. Well, he could have run the football. Look at the look at the lane as he comes out of pocket. Look at that opening. Wow. I mean, there's all kinds of real estate to run the football, but he said, you know what? My my job is to is to throw it. And I think I could squeeze it in there. Well, he couldn't quite squeeze it. I'm not sure he would have scored, but he would have definitely been well inside the five yard line on this third down snap. Reesing had many made many wrong decisions today, that's for sure. What an afternoon he's having. And another one. TD pass. Kansas Briscoe gets his third score. And Reesing a school record six touchdown pass today. Boy, it's like shooting fish in a barrel for Kansas today in the red zone. I mean, they are just doing anything they want in their passing game. And it all starts with the protection. Nebraska trying to stunt and pressure the quarterback and run a little shallow cross. Takes a little bit of time to do that. Briscoe comes clean. And that's his third touchdown reception of the day, the true freshman. And 60. Two to 31, and again they seem determined to double them up, and that's what it is once more. 62-31, Kansas. Wow. Whoa! With stuffed crust pizza, you can't go straight for all that cheese in there. Start slow, enjoy the ride, and then bam, you go for the big cheese. Right. Nobody stuffs the crust like Pizza Hut. The stuffed crust pizza. Now with even more melty cheese stuffed inside that amazing crust. Specially priced for a limited time at just $10.99. Second slice, straight for the cheese. Get more with America's favorite pizza. Pizza Hut, now online. The true power and beauty of HDTV is often hidden, unable to be seen. original technologies unleash the true power and beauty of everything you watch on HDTV. Introducing the new Hitachi line of full HD 1080 televisions. Only from Hitachi. Well, the Kansas fans at a sellout house here on homecoming for the eighth ranked team in the country. You see them shaking the keys telling Nebraska to hit the road. 
I wouldn't say just yet, even though it's 62 to 31. Franz Hardy is the deep man on the return from Webb's kick. And he circles to the 20 and then dances out of bounds around the 23, 24 yard line. And let's send it down to Emily Jones. Hey guys, we are here with the uh, Jack Lynx beef jerky fan of the game. And this one really was a no brainer. I mean, look at this guy. Sir, what is your name? White Owl is my Indian name. Jim Tucker or Saul is my real name. You have the best Jayhawks outfit on, in my opinion. Well, How I long have you been following Kansas? I've been following since Kansas 1971. Okay. Now that's a true fan. Now I have seen some moves. I want you to share those dance okay. moves with our viewers. Let's see it. Look at this. Now those, those are some moves. Don't stop now. Smooth, smooth, smooth. white owl. Plenty to cheer about, guys. This can white do. owl can dance. I'll tell you what. He can move. Yeah. Hope I have half that energy at that age. <laughs> we need more of that. White owl. One of 51,910 here, and that's an all-time Memorial Stadium record attendance. Last year, they set it with 51-8-2-1 in the Kansas State game. Gans on a second and short, and it is incomplete, intended for Swift. 4.53 to go in the third, 62-31 Kansas. Holt put the pressure on that time. And again, Nebraska can do nothing but throw the football every single snap. When you've had 62 hung on you, <laughs> even though your offense has generated 31 points, you're in such a deep hole that it seems like Every shovel full you take comes right back down on top of you. You can't get out of the hole. You need to throw out what you put up already to match KU and shut them down. And well, speaking of shut down, out. and loose one, and KU signaling they've got it. And Rivera and Holt were there. Let's see as they sort that pile out. Yes, Kansas ball. Stucky, I believe, with the recovery. Well, that makes Nebraska minus 11 on the season and Kansas plus 13. Quinton and, Castile, the, the runner here for the first time today. And, and, and really just put the helmet right on the football, did Holt. Look at Rivera made the hit and Holt and Holt, Holt put his helmet right on it. Yeah. And Rivera's over the top and Holt just hit right on the football with his helmet and knocked it out of there. Watch Holt as he comes in low. His helmet hits right on the football, and he just spears it right out of there. Are they saying that he didn't, he didn't lose possession before he hit the ground? They may be taking another look at this one. The ground can't cause the fumble. Yeah, it is under video review. As, well, let's face it, Nebraska just simply can't suffer another. They can't have another turnover really anywhere, but particularly at this part of the field. Yeah, they already gave up one short field on the batted pass interception that Kansas took advantage of for a touchdown. And then the last one was uh, uh, a short drive, was it not? As uh, it, And remember, the, the call on the field is huge because unless there's indisputable evidence to reverse the call on the field, the call stands. Is there indisputable evidence? Does he still have the football as he's going to the turf? After video review, the play stands is called. First down, Kansas. And I think if it had been called, you know, no fumble, you know, he was down, that would have stayed as well. There was not indisputable evidence with the shadows and everything else on that on that uh, replay to see if he had full possession of that football or not. So the Jayhawks with 451 yards of total offense and 62 points get it back. The third turnover of the day, KU a plus three on the day to go plus 14 on the year. And first and 10 at the 30 of the Huskers. And Reese dancing around with time. Now chased out of there. He'll unload it, and it is complete at the 22 yard line. Jeff Foster making the reception. That's a nice effort. Little tap tap on the sideline with possession of the football. He practices every single day. And Reesing, you know, nowhere to go with the football. 
buys a little bit of time. The pass protection is outstanding. You know, Nebraska coming into this football game had generated nine quarterback sacks, and they haven't gotten to reaching today, so that's a problem. They have 11 takeaways on the season and nine sacks. And they run it here. About a yard as Octavia makes a tackle on Sharp. So basically that's saying that they're not doing anything to cause problems to opposing offenses. Nebraska a couple of years ago three years ago they led the nation with like over 50 quarterback sacks. And of course a lot of those guys are in the NFL now that were those contributors but there wasn't anything in the cupboard to replenish the guys that they lost and they go from 50 some odd sacks two years later to nine. It's amazing. McAnderson. On a third and one. First down easy as he strolls down to the 11 yard line. Philip Dillard, a sophomore from Tulsa, with the tackle. And let's check in for a Dr. Pepper game break. Here's John Radigan. All right, Bill Land, thank you very much. High drama in this one. Wake Forest lining up to kick the game winning field goal. Sam Swank's 48 yard try is wide right. And Virginia holds on to beat Wake Forest 17 16. Number 23 holds off number 24, Bill. All right, thank you, KU. Virgin to score again, do they? Yes. Getting in the end zone, Jake Sharp, another touchdown. You can't break away from this one. You'll miss something big. Jake Sharp gets another TD, and Kansas rolling it up. Man. They're just getting after Nebraska runs a little bit of a blitz Kansas offensive lineman out in front getting their blocks McAnderson lead blocker for sharp. That's what McAnderson's role was last year lead block lead blocker at fullback and he filled that role once again for his compatriot sharp. Scott Webb with a PAT and 69 to 31 with 334 to go in the third. Are you kidding me. Man. Jack Link's Beef Jerky presents Messing with Sasquatch. <laughs> Jack Link's Jerky, feed your wild side. Every hero has a choice. Yours is Rich Three Toppings. Introducing Papa John Super Hero XL3 Pizza. Your choice of any three toppings. And 30% larger than our large. It's a super value at just $12.99. Including a $3 off coupon for Spider-Man 3 on DVD. Call or order on the web. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium, Cavisto Field. Jake Sharp gets, let me check here, I think his second touchdown of the day. And as you take a look at the Jayhawks, their first drive, that was the highlight for Nebraska. Since then, lights out. Hardy, deep on the return and picks it. 20, watch out as Hardy nearly breaks through. Out to the 33-yard line, and Chris Harris making the tackle for Kansas. This is absolutely insane. 69 to 31 as Nebraska takes over first and 10 on its own 35 yard line. And Kansas total offense 481 yards on 69 plays. Wow. I mean, a one, two, three and out to start the game. Your offense goes down the field after deflected punt, take a seven nothing lead, and Kansas scores in the next 10 possessions. 10 straight touchdowns. Ridiculous. Nebraska scored on its first two and had a 14 7 lead after a 7 0 lead and the Kansas score a 14 7 lead. Then KU scored three touchdowns in a row and has been in control of the game since then. Harper making the tackle here on Terrence Nunn. And uh, I can tell you, it's got to be tough on those guys in the huddle offensively. As you keep sawing wood, sawing wood, you're in a big deep hole. You try to get some things done and. You get the, give the ball up, either turn over a punt, and boy, boom, Kansas right down the field. And you go back out in the field, and you're down by more points. Second and one. And across the middle, and it is complete. 
as the Huskers Gans nailed but purify with the reception and Maurice purify has been one of the many offensive highlights for the Huskers he's got two touchdowns on the day and six receptions for 150 yards Marlon Lucky six for 83 in a TD this one picked off by KU Mike Revere with the interception so Kansas now that's four turnovers. Yeah, they're starting to fall apart. Nebraska is eating in the turnover department as well. Rivera recovered the last fumble. Uh, his teammate forced it. Holt forced it. Rivera recovered it, and then he comes up with an interception. So he shows himself, you know, I can come downhill at the line of scrimmage in the running game, then drop back into zone coverage. And, and, and you know what? It, it's crazy to say, but I don't think Gans really saw Rivera. Because people are saying, why would you throw the football right to Rivera? With protect or pass rush in his face and big bodies. I don't think he's over there. Kansas with McAnderson. And here's McAnderson, who you might think on that play, maybe he's going to head the out of bounds. Well, hey, you're up 69 31. You're keeping an inbounds. Nebraska almost overran, and he cuts it back for a few more yards before Dillard makes the tackle. And they stop the clock to move the chains. So, because he generated a first down. Well, and, and that was the game we were talking about. Texas Tech hung 70 on them. And they're in danger of giving up more than that today. And KU's most points in a conference game all time was 58 against Baylor earlier this year. And here they have 69 today with a couple minutes to go in the third quarter. Steinkuhler makes the tackle here. The once proud Nebraska Blackshirt defense is in real, real trouble. It, re it really is sad to see. It's a shambles. And it, it, along with their demise, it's amazing that we'll call this play here's McAnderson comes out of that little bump and goes ahead to the 50. But Dave, it looked like Bill Callahan was turning the corner. He had a rough start at five and six. Then they go eight and four. Last year, nine and five. They win the crazy Big 12 North. And since then, it's just been one nightmare after another. And Kevin Cosgrove just, he, he's like, I, I don't know what to call. I mean, everything, anything I call, it doesn't matter. Kansas is just blocking us up. We can't get off blocks. We can't separate and, and make a tackle on people. And right now, it's just, it's tough to turn that momentum around when it's, when it's a train rolling downhill on you like that. Third and one at midfield. Sharp gets the carry. And another first down to the 45 yard line of Nebraska. Nebraska had given up 49 to Southern Cal, 40 to Ball State. To me, that was an indicator that right. this defense was in trouble. Right. And then 41 to Missouri, 45 to Oklahoma State. The last two weeks, 36 against AM. And then last week, the, the real heartbreaker down in Texas, where they actually thought they took a step forward as far as the way their team played before falling 28 25 to the Longhorns. But a huge step in the hole here today. First and 10 at the 45. Four wideouts again for KU as Reesing ready to unload it on a record setting day for him with six TD passes already. Fine as the receiver. You know, you look at uh, the Texas game last week in the fourth quarter alone, Jamal Charles rushing for 216 yards and three touchdowns. And, and at, at that point, you say, okay, Nebraska's psyche is delicate. Uh, they're, they're just, Kansas can do anything they want to. I mean, it's, it's almost like playing seven on seven. It's almost like that there's no pass rush that Reesing has to worry about. And all he's doing is playing perimeter catch with his wideouts, just like in seven on seven in practice. They're at 916 yards of offense here today. Sharp. Bumped hard and stopped at the. 40 yard line. Ricky Tanaris, the sophomore from Los Angeles who was shaken up earlier, makes the play here. But is he hit back on the field? You know, when you look at uh, last year, and that was last year, Nebraska's defense down the stretch played well. They played Oklahoma tough defensively in the Big 12 championship game. They played well defensively against Auburn in the bowl game. And Coach Callahan said, you know, they played championship type defense down the stretch last year. But then, man, not, not this year. Well, FSN football scares Nebraska. Something's got them frightened. It's 69 31 on a homecoming stomping in Lawrence. The Jayhawks pounding the Huskers in Big 12 action. Ricky. 
Hey, for the Go Green sales event, we want you to race over a hot bed of coals wearing this. I don't think so. Terrible idea. You're fired. Lots of other great ideas. The Kawasaki Go Green sales event is on. Hurry in to get payments as low as $69 for 24 months on new Kawasaki vehicles. Sale ends December 31st. The true power and beauty of HDTV is often hidden, unable to be seen. Only Hitachi Original Technologies unleash the true power and beauty of everything you watch on HDTV. Introducing the new Hitachi line of Full HD 1080 televisions. Only from Hitachi. Walk it out, daddy. Good boy. Come on, leave the pack. Hey, you need to walk. Come get on. on up. Get up now. Yeah, get girl. the dog on track. I'll show you right. Love that yeah. dog. There you go. Sees go. us way. <laughs> the back leader is back, baby. All new episodes of The Dog Whisperer, every Friday night at 8. Only on the National Geographic Channel. Every week, some will rise, some will fall, and some will take the next step on the road to the BCS. Unbelievable! BCS Breakdown on FSN. With previews of Saturday's biggest matchups and detailed analysis of the national championship picture. BCS Breakdown, Friday on FSN. Every night, there's just one place to be. The best damn sports show, period. Come on in and be our guest for Sports Television's Nightly Party. The world's greatest late night sports show is just getting started. The best damn sports show, period. Weeknights on FSN. Football Saturday on FSN, the Dr. Pepper Big 12 game of the week, and the Jayhawks pouring it on. Jake Sharp and crew as we go to the start of the fourth quarter here, and it is third down with four to go for KU, and McAnderson in with the quarterback Reesing. Glitzing is Nebraska. Reesing escapes it, and in another great catch by Briscoe, and that's a first down. Briscoe with three touchdowns already today, makes a great catch before Murillo finally brings him down, and Desmond Briscoe, his fifth reception of the day. And he's got three touchdown passes off of those five receptions, and that's just great extension, making a play on the football. It's just, that's just phenomenal athleticism. Five catches, 52 yards, three scores. Marcus Henry has six for 101 yards to lead him with one touchdown. And Sharp dances across to about the 28 yard line. Jake Sharp. And let's check in now with John Radigan of Dr. Pepper Game Break. He'll end big doings in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Dontrell Savage scores for the Oklahoma State Cowboys on their first possession. And then Colt McCoy is picked off. It's Jacob Lacey going 39 yards the other way. And the Cowboys have a 14-0 lead. Remember, though, Texas has outscored Oklahoma State 134-7 in the second half of the last four games of this rivalry, Bill. 
Yeah, that probably scares OSU. It's like, uh oh, it's the same old format, but uh, they got to be excited in Stillwater. Reesing is sacked on this play here as Nebraska comes through with Tyler Wortman, junior from Grand Island, Nebraska, in a starting role today with all the injuries there. You're speaking of Oklahoma State, let's take a look at the South Standings. Key matchups in the uh, Oklahoma today because you got Oklahoma and OSU both three and one and they're both playing those Texas schools. Texas is at Oklahoma tonight and a and M. I mean a and M is at Oklahoma and Texas you see right now losing to Oklahoma State. So a lot at stake in those two games Dave. No question about it and, and Oklahoma State is where Kansas travels next week. And yeah. Oklahoma State is a different team in Stillwater. They they are tough to deal with in Stillwater. Here is Reesing. Complete Briscoe now couldn't hang on. The other thing Oklahoma State's a different team is Dantrell Savage was hurt early yep, yep. and he's taken a very good offense and made it an unbelievable offense that's so explosive with the running game. They are a different football team with him back there lugging the pig. Uh, Bill, you're exactly right. I mean, he, he gives them another dimension and uh, they are very talented. I mean, they can they can put points on anybody and it's going to be a challenge for this Kansas defense uh, next week out in Oklahoma State. Well, it's a fourth down and Kansas with Webb for a 51 yard field goal attempt. Scott Webb, whose best is 48, and this was well short, and Nebraska will take over. So, time on the field with 13.03 to go and 69 31, Kansas. This week on Fox NFL Sunday, Frank's Week 9 picks and the grumpy old coaches. Then you'll see Brett Favre and the Packers taking on Larry Johnson and the Chiefs. Or Clinton Portis and the Redskins battling the Jets. It's another slate of great NFL action this week on Fox NFL Sunday. from the Fuel TV Broadcasting System. Not a real emergency. You should immediately log on to www.fuel.tv. It's Fuel TV's new website. That's www.fuel.tv. If you believe in me, I will. I will believe in what will be. Even the first day I met Coach, he made me feel like I could do better. Uh, you can do better. If you believe in me. I hated that. Feeling like the best I could do would only last one day. I will believe in what will be. But I stuck with it. Give us the future that's me. Well, actually, he stuck with me. When I finally did win, he wasn't surprised. I knew you had it in you. Believing. Pass it on. You did real good. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Gans under pressure, throwing it, nearly picked off. It is picked off. Another INT for the University of Kansas, Justin Thornton. And Thornton rumbles down to about the 37-yard line as Thornton gets his fourth pick of the year. And wow. Kansas right now is, is playing very, very deep with the safeties. 
because you know they know that Nebraska just has to throw it every down and they're just laying back there waiting for deflections waiting for overthrows and they're doing a good job of, of uh, reacting to the tip football and Thornton comes up with a big big takeaway. All right Yamaha ATV game summary. You've had uh, to summarize it with a hundred points here today and Kansas still firing and throwing it as this one is complete to Dexton Fields and brings it to about the 28 yard line close to a well maybe a first down see where they spot the football. Hey, they're signaling first down they're signaling move the chains so it's a fresh set of downs for Mark Mangino. First and 10 fourth quarter with 12 29 to go and Reesing with a record setting day of six touchdown passes he gives to McAnderson who has scored three times today you've got Desmond Briscoe who has scored on three touchdown passes Philip Dillard made the tackle on McAnderson that time. And Reesing for the moment Dave 30 of 41 for 354 and six scores. Boy, just a game of pitch and catch for him. Not enough pressure. He was never sacked. He did extend plays and buy time with his feet though. And McAnderson still on his feet goes out of bounds down near the five yard line. Well and I don't know if anybody saw this kind of passing day for Reesing. Because if you look at the last few weeks, you know, last week 180 against AM, Colorado 153, Baylor 186. It's been more of the running game, but today it's everything. Yeah, it is. And, you know, Nebraska just not putting up any kind of resistance right now. They can't get off blocks and, 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 and make plays. So McAnderson, will he score again as he is wrapped up around the six yard line? McAnderson on the day. 24 carries and about 113 yards if depending on what they give him there Pierre Allen makes the tackle red trick freshman from Denver for 24 rushes I should say now 113 yards and three scores what a day for the senior from right here in Lawrence and uh, you know I, to me it's mind boggling to think about feeling sorry for Nebraska with that story program that they have but this afternoon it's starting to get to the point where you start to feel sorry for them. McAnderson, the infield, and sorry for him. Touchdown number four on the day for McAnderson. And can you say 75 points for Kansas? Eisenhart couldn't come up with a tackle, and McAnderson and the Huskers now have allowed more points today than in any other game in their storied history. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable is all I can. It's. I can't imagine what the Husker Nation is thinking right now. What I'm amazed is many of their fans, as Webb hits this one, have remained. I mean, they have as good of fans as you can see in the country. Uh, they haven't been treated like this anywhere, ever. Kansas 76, Nebraska 31. All right, I need someone on a red eye or a planting jersey. Who's it going to be, people? I'll go, sir. Great. I need somebody in Houston by five. I'm your man, sir. 6 a.m. to Omaha. Who's taking one for the team? That'd be me, sir. Steve-O. That's what I'm talking about. Steve, can you make it to Buffalo by four? Anyone seen Steve? Enjoy your trip. We will. Thanks. Thank you. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. Every game. Every score. Every highlight. It's the FSN final score. 30 minutes every night of the week. Bringing you all the action from the world of sports. It's the one show where serious sports fans go for serious sports highlights. The FSN final score. Presented by DirecTV. Basketball snaps into focus. Chase Budinger and the Arizona Wildcats have their sights set on making some noise in the desert. 
But Sean Singletary and the Virginia Cavaliers are ready to prove they belong with the nation's elite. College Basketball, presented by KFC, November 17th on FSN. It may seem intimidating, but really, it's one of the easiest things you can ever do. I've been practicing. Good. You're going to need it. <laughs> you don't have to change your life to change his. Become a big brother. Go to bigbrothersbigsisters.org. Our graphics folks are spot on. That is not a mistake. And that's a Nebraska fan somehow forcing a grin. 76-31 Kansas. Bill Land, Dave Lappin with you. Highest single team scoring effort in Big 12 history here today as the Jayhawks continue to pour it on. And Nebraska, Andre Jones is deep and Niles Paul as Scott Webb. I'll tell you what got to be getting a little tired. <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious. His right leg's going to be two inches longer than the left when he's done today. <laughs> so here comes Webb's kickoff. Could we just replay that and I'll lay out for a minute. And Niles Paul will down it there. It'll be first to 10 at the 20 yard line. Well, you look ahead, Dave. Kansas getting their ninth victory today. And they got at Oklahoma State and Iowa State before they face Missouri at Arrowhead in a game that is already sold out, which yep. could be for the Big 12 North Championship. And uh, wow, what what a scene that could be if Missouri can continue to win. And they got a key game against Colorado. You'll see on FSN later this evening. Here's what's left for KU as. Nebraska keeps it on the ground here. Gans hands it off and Halu with the carry. Roy Halu, a freshman from Danville, California, been averaging 4.3 a carry. You know, when you look at Kansas in the preseason, the media selected Kansas fourth in the Big 12 North, number four. And and, and Coach Mangino even admitted, look, you know, I thought I had a good football team, but to say back in July that I would have predicted eight. No I, I really can't honestly say that. Again Halu with the ball as Nebraska now it would appear after throwing it almost nonstop has just conceded and said all right let's see if we just can't get out of here without any more humiliation. Chris Harris makes the tackle interested to see how much more they'll throw the football right and Springer making the stop for Kansas. And I think that maybe that's what Coach Mangino was looking for, some kind of cue from Coach Callahan that wasn't going to fire and fall back every snap because, you know, he's worried about, uh, you know, allowing points. And the Huskers with Halu again, stopped by Springer. Well, yeah, and but we all noticed that the uh, – at the meetings down in San Antonio back in July and we'll get back to that in just a second about Kansas and their attitude. I want to remind you that the first down marker is brought to you by Overstock.com. Live better with savings up to 70 percent on amazing deals from Overstock.com. It's all about the O. That Coach Mangino had a confidence about this team. Sure. They went back after going six and six last year and they looked at every play and said hey we've got to learn to finish football games because they felt basically four plays cost them four games. Well, they certainly learned from it, didn't they? They did, and it was for different reasons they weren't finishing football games. So, you know, I, I think that that the schedule that everybody, you know, was kind of derisive about, Kansas hadn't played anybody. What that schedule got for them is a confidence of pounding people. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you start to build more confidence because you're pounding people. And it carried over. And look, look what's happening today. I mean, this is what their mindset is, to get up on people and keep your foot on the throat and, and pound people into submission. And, and there's something to be said for that. I mean, that, that confidence that, that they got by going 4-0 in, in the pre-conference uh, games was huge. Third and six for Nebraska at the 34 and Gans completes this one and down the sideline 
for Nebraska is Hunter T. Fatiller. Guys, you talk about how Mangino and his team have handled success. He says these guys are tough, they're intelligent, they're well-rounded, and we have a system in place, and it stays in place regardless of our opponent, regardless of our record. There are no talk of BCS bowls, bowl games, period, or rankings. And he told his team, you know what? You should have the same friends a year ago that you have today. He said the coaches are going to be on your side, will be your best friend, and will also be your worst critic. All that matters is what you and I think. And Gamalik, first to 10 at the 47. Well, and Dave, you're talking about pounding people. You know, they win those four games, Central Michigan, Southeastern Louisiana, Toledo, Ford, Ford International. They had a week off. They go to K-State. K-State's fresh off a win in Austin. They beat their rival coming from behind and finishing a game. Then they pound Baylor. They hang on out of Colorado. And I think that's when all that toughness started to settle right, in. Right. They've won all three road games this year. They'd only won two road games in the Big 12 in the previous five seasons under Coach Mangino. Absolutely. And, and you know, I think momentum's an unbelievable thing. And confidence is, too. It's like a narcotic. When you start to get a little bit of it, you want more. Second down and eight for the Huskers. Gans with eight minutes to go. Flips it in the backfield. And ball carrier across the 35 to the 30. And Halu carrying the ball once again. You know, the, the thing that, that Coach Mandino has done a good job of as we take a look again at this little toss, and I, I like the big boy out in front, showing some ability to, to, to move and, and, and redirect his body in space. Big Carl Nix, and they did a good job of sealing the edge, and the receivers did a good job down the football field. Nice execution by Nebraska on that snap. Coach Mangino has eliminated distractions. There's no such thing, you know? And that's how you handle success. You eliminate all the distractions, and you just do your routine, like Emily was talking about, no matter who you're playing or what the deal is. Yeah, and I think this team played, they played with a chip on their shoulder through a few games where people said, all right, they haven't beat anybody. And now it's like, you know what? We don't care what anybody thinks. Yep, <laughs> that, yep. uh, and, and it is, it's amazing, this whole BCS thing where you start talking about it. If you win all the games and you're in a reputable league, most likely you're going to be playing for a lot of chips at the end of the season. Yep. You don't really need to worry about anybody else if you win them all. The, the wins take care of all other business. All you have to do is focus on a week-to-week -week basis and everything else takes care of itself. Always has always will second and five and a lucky back in the ball game and he is brought down near the 19 yard line by Jake Laptab our Whataburger what a play and what a play it is one of the highlights for this Nebraska team was Mo purifies one handed TD grab man it's like he's got stick him on that right mucker Whoop, stick it out there and boom it just sticks Five paper unbelievable effort by purify who is a very gifted kid 6'4 220 pounds he's got great speed obviously tremendous hands and he's hard to get on the ground he's so physically strong he's hard to tackle six receptions 150 yards two scores for him halo in the backfield again Nebraska reshuffles and it is third and two and they come to that right side where all those bodies are and halo has got the first down and down near the 10 yard line before Philip Strozier, a redshirt freshman from Kansas City, Missouri, out of Rockhurst High School, makes the tackle. And you, as you described, Bill, when, when Nebraska made the shift that they did, they out leveraged Kansas' defense. Kansas didn't quite make a big enough adjustment, and they were outgapped at the point of attack by the extra bodies. And for that reason, Nebraska was able to get to the perimeter, get outside. And, and that's the chess match, you know, and Bill Callahan. Knows of what he uh, what he speaks offensively. There's no question about it. First and ten at the eleven. Halu met with resistance at the ten yard line. You know, I think Bill Callahan finally said, you know what? I'm going to go on a drive and run the football because I don't want to expose my defense anymore. They've already had 76 hung on them. You know, if Kansas is going to keep going it on, yeah. I'm going to try to protect my own defense by running the football, keeping them on the sideline, and, and protecting them and, and limiting the exposure. And, and here's some thumping still going on. I'll tell you, you know, it's college football. you got to be tough or you're going to get hurt out there. Speaking of crazy seasons, Iowa State, I believe, as a final, has beaten the Kansas State Wildcats today up in uh, Ames, Iowa. Who'd have thought that? A team with one win on the year. 
And Halu on the reception is stopped around the eight yard line. You know, Halu is, is more like the, the Marlon Lucky type guy. You know, he's a good receiver out of the backfield, six feet, 210. He's got the same body type, same stature as Lucky. Quentin Castile is, is the hammer, 6'1, 245 pounder. Cody Glenn's more of a hammer as well, but Halu is, is, is like Marlon Lucky, and I think they want to see if they can develop another Marlon Lucky type guy. Third and seven, ball on the eight, 443 remaining here. Gans in the end zone, caught it, but he was out. Great effort to catch that football, purify. You know what? You, you gotta like a kid like that. I mean, here, here he is. He, he, they're down, they're down uh, 45 points, and he's still battling them like heck to make the contested catch. The right foot definitely down on the on the white chalk, no catch, but you can't fault his effort. Senior out of Eureka, California, second team all conference pick last year. Had a big game against Kansas last year when Nebraska won in a double overtime up in Lincoln. Wow, what a turnaround as KU thumping them 76 31. And they go for it on fourth and seven, the ball at the eight yard line. Gans again looking for Purify and got him this time for a TD. Purify gets the touchdown, beating Harris on the play. And it's 76 to 37. Oh, Chris Harris, freshman, true freshman. He stepped up with Kendrick Harper's injury, and he and he did a great job for Kansas. Kendrick Harper is healed up. He's got the starting job back. But it was 16 against 16. Chris Harris in the blue against 16 in the white. Jersey with the red number and Purify was more of a man on that matchup. Senior against freshman and the experience show. Gans his fourth TD pass of the day. Three of them to Purify and they'll go for two here. Lucky in the left slot. Gans going right across the middle and it is complete for the two point conversion to Terrence Nunn, I believe. I beg your pardon, it's 80s Swift. So pick up two and it's 76-39, arena ball. Brick by brick, stone by stone, we built a place to call our own. Gonna fill it up with laughter, ride my happy ever after. Cause for the first time in my life, I'm holding the key to a brand new life waiting on me. That's what makes a house a home. Across the country and around the world, thousands of Habitat homeowners and millions of volunteers know the joy and pride of seeing a house become a home. A brighter future, one family at a time. Support Habitat's work in your community. Volunteer, get involved, and help build it. Visit Habitat.org. That's what makes a house a home. Camera four, can you let me see the JR in the set, please? Okay, everybody, let's get ready. Gentlemen, start the yeah. NASCAR on speed. We go to Loudoun, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia. We're in Talladega. Daytona. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Six weekends a year. It's really exciting that Speed's going to cover all the action all weekend long. Coast to coast. We'll see if anyone can hang on. North to south. The Truck Series, week in, week out, the best racing ever. Speed takes you there. I've never been upside down in my career before. Welcome to our Friday night hey. party. Are you ready for racing? I'm ready for racing. Dr. Pepper Big 12 football game of the week on FSN presented by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper, there's more to it. And brought to you in part by Liberty Mutual. Responsibility. What's your policy? By Yamaha ATVs. Ain't nothing tougher than a Yamaha. And by Sonic. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. 
Purify with his third TD reception of the day. And Maurice, seven receptions, 158 yards. One of the bright, few bright lights for this Nebraska team. You know, if you'd have told Bill Callahan, we'll give you 39, you like your chances to what? Stay within 30? Uh, amazing. 76 39 is Kunalik uh, to kick it off again. And Stuckey and Herford are deep, and Herford at the 10. 20. Still on his feet. Herford, boy, he is shifty. He falls back near the 25, and we'll be back after this word from Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottles. This is a message from the Fuel TV broadcasting system. Not a real emergency. You should immediately log on to www.fuel.tv. It's Fuel TV's new website. That's www.fuel.tv. Walk it out, Daddy. Good boy. Come on, leave the path. Hey, you need to walk. Get on up. Get up now. Yeah, Get girl. the dog on track. Aha. Show you right. Love that yeah. dog. There he goes. Sees us oh. way. The back leader is back, baby. All new episodes of The Dog Whisperer, every Friday night at 8. Only on the National Geographic Channel. Fox College Sports has the recipe for the ultimate college reunion. With over 100 live college football games. FCS is home to the Pac-10, an exclusive Big 12 football you won't find anywhere else. With news from around the NCAA. And the coaches' shows that break down all the big games. This is the place where college football never ends. To order Fox College Sports, call 1-877-2-GET-FCS. Put them things down, Miss Clara, because I'm going to kiss you. down the new BCS standings. The official BCS rating show, exclusively on FSN. Find out who's moving up, who's moving out, and who's moving on towards a berth in a BCS bowl game. Get the numbers as soon as they break. The official BCS rating show, Sunday on FSN. The best damn sports show period. Weeknights on FSN. 76-39, Kansas over Nebraska with 4.16 to go. And Kerry Meyer comes on to quarterback now for the Kansas Jayhawks. Remember Meyer, we told you early on about uh, he quarterbacked here last year, had some injuries, and then it became a battle between he and Reesing. Reesing won it. And now Meyer's been all over the field in different roles. And he gets the quarterback here in the final four minutes of the ball game with uh, first and 10 at the 27 and the carry taking it to uh, quickly and it'll be a second down and four after a pickup of six. Three forty four counting and Kansas putting the wraps on a seventy six thirty nine win over Nebraska here and Meyer on the year, Dave mentioned earlier, 15 of 19 for 130 yards and two TDs in the passing game. He scored a touchdown today on the receiving end. And carrying the football again is Quigley here for KU. As Kansas get the opportunity to play a lot of folks. And Quigley coming in, eight carries for 47 yards. He has one touchdown on the season and a long run of 22 yards. And it'll be third and six now for the Jayhawks. Akeem Talib, who has been used less on the offensive end because of his need defensively in conference play, is now in as a wideout. Meyer on third and six. 
hands it off and not much doing well, close to first down for Quigley. We'll see what they give him here. He's knocked out of bounds stopping the clock at 238. Quigley 6 2 220 a sophomore from Cleburne Texas. For those viewers that are watching us on FSN Arizona FSN West and the state of Oregon on FSN Northwest you're going to be seeing number four Arizona State at number five Oregon and that's coming up at 630 Eastern 330 Pacific so stay tuned for that Pac-10 battle of giants that's coming up in a short time again FSN Arizona FSN West the state of Oregon on FSN Northwest. We'll all see number four ASU against number five Oregon and can Arizona State continue its unbeaten run <laughs> Kansas has done its job first down here as Kansas is the one of five teams unbeaten Ohio State Boston College Arizona State and Hawaii and all have big games ahead it is not an easy road for any of those five for Kansas of course next week in Stillwater and then Iowa State here before they face Missouri in Kansas City. Quigley in the backfield again on a first and 10. The ball on the 37 yard line. And the handoff straight ahead and Quigley. Harder in yards when everybody in the building knows you're going to get it. Turner makes the tackle. You know, for Nebraska, you take a look at this Husker team that's going to lose its fifth in a row and go to four and six, one and five in the league. Their lone league victory over Iowa State, and it's not any easier. They have Kansas State next week in Lincoln, and that's a K-State team coming off a loss to Iowa State, and then they finish, of course, with their year-end battle out in Boulder against the Colorado Buffaloes and pending what happens of course tonight with Colorado Missouri Colorado may be in the Big 12 North title chase so a lot of key football to go in the Big 12 second down and nine for Kansas now with a minute 25 and counting and Kerry Meyer taken over after a record setting day for Reesing who had six touchdown passes new Kansas mark quickly going wide and tucked down from behind Check in with John Radigan, a Dr. Pepper game break. Yeah, thank you, Bill. Lots more highlights coming up on the Big 12 postgame show. Well, we got to show you this. Zach Robinson with a seven-yard touchdown run, and Oklahoma State has a 21-0 lead on Texas early in the second quarter, Bill. Wow. You know, does Mike Gundy show what's happened the past couple of years at halftime to his team? Should he have to remind him? And... Uh, a wild, wild football season in the Big 12 and nationally. And Kansas counted down here with homecoming. The highest uh, or the largest crowd in KU history on a sellout Saturday. 51,910 to celebrate the unbeaten Jayhawks going 9-0. and And again, Quigley running it. And that will be the final play of the game as Kansas, eight ranked in the AP, the coaches poll, the BCS, and unbeaten at 9-0. 5-0 in conference play. The Huskers fall to 4-6, 1-5 in Big 12, and have lost five in a row, and yes, 9-0. Here they come. The Jayhawks stay on top, and the only unbeaten in Big 12. Bill Callahan, a rough go for the head coach of the Nebraska Cornhuskers as they fall to Mark Mangino's crew here today, 76 to 39. For Dave Lapham, Emily Jones, and our entire crew, Bill Lansing, so long from Lawrence, Kansas. Coming up later, the college football kickoff show. Then our college football Saturday triple header continues with number nine, Missouri at Colorado, followed by Washington State at Cal in the Pac-10. It's all on FSN College Football Saturday. Once again, our final, 76 to 39. Unbeaten Kansas rolls on over Nebraska. So long, everybody.